This is the second time I've been in this cell. All of my evidence has been taken from me. The only thing I have left is Kei's Yatagarasu's badge. <laughs> Kei's Yatagarasu's badge. <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm worried about Kay. Is she alright? Who is Kay? <laughs> the culprit... ...is me. <laughs> Someone in here is the culprit! Who? Me! <laughs> <laughs> There's a throwback. Yeah. At the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me! The culprit was me all along! <sighs> you have a visitor. Please hurry out. A visitor? Who could it be? Ah. Uh... Someone by the name of Dick Gumshoe? Will you turn him down? I would never turn down Dick Gumshoe! Tell him! Yeah, yeah no. I bet you'd never turn down Dick. I'll go get him. What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> My dude, please! I'm in jail. Can't get worse. <laughs> no. It will be hard to face him, though. I didn't want our first date to be like this, Gumshoe. Wait, there. I gotta go. <laughs> See how awkward it gets when you say that shit to a guy about Dick? Hmm. He's not staying to keep watch? Pardon me. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> Did you like my gumshoe impression? <laughs> Judge Courtney! Hush. Little baby, please have a seat. <laughs> Are you gonna try and be a good character? <laughs> Why are you here? I was told the detective had come. Yes, fooled again, you idiot. If I didn't fucking <laughs> tell you that, you would not be sitting here right now. God, you're funny. <laughs> I can't think of anything she'd need from me at this point. I should try to figure out what she wants. What up, bitch? Your visitation rights have been restricted to begin with. You can only see me. <laughs> oh, God. It's as if I'm some monstrous criminal. I suppose my credibility has hit rock bottom. But of course. Your friends have fared a little better, though. That lawyer and that girl were both quite worked up. Mr. Shields and Emma. When I last saw them, they were giving one of the guards quite an earful. What? You don't mean... Be grateful. The goddess of law has been quite busy. They were spared punishment. Certainly seems like you have plenty of time for small talk. Oh, yes. Prosecutor Von Karma is presently continuing the investigation. I don't have to do shit. <laughs> you were worried about them, right? I'm a judge who wanders around outside of a courtroom, <laughs> courtroom being mean to people. This I don't even have a job. People? I'm fucking unemployed. I <laughs> actually do any judging. I guess she saw right through me. Let's cut to the chase. Exactly what are you planning? I am not planning anything. There is merely a question I wish to ask. You're asking me? No, dipshit. Yes, oh. of course. Oh. Who else is here? Turns around. <laughs> I, I guess no Don't one. <laughs> <laughs> Objectively speaking, you are a clever individual, and you have a sharp mind. As a prosecutor, you are highly talented and capable. Are you being ironic? Your sarcasm. Are you being, nice to me Are you being ironic? I genuinely don't know what that word means. Your sarcasm <laughs> falls short. I am being completely sincere, and that is why I cannot understand. Take this case, for example. You're up against the PIC. There is no chance for you to come out on top. Even a child could understand, and yet you. <laughs> a dumbass. Perhaps my younger self would not have done something so reckless. The me from before had power. That's why I thought justice was on my side. Just like you right now. However, because of a certain man, my self-centered sense of justice was broken down. We're not allowed to legally say his name, but let me tell you, he has a blue suit. And I don't know where he went, so I have to date Dick Gumshoe now. <laughs> Captain Ever since America. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Rogers, my good friend. Oh, Ever since that, Ever since then, 
I began to see people in a different light. I am able to serve as a prosecutor only because of the support of the people around me. People like Detective Gumshoe and all the other investigators. And Kay as well. Honestly, even I'm surprised at how much I've changed. I see. Is that how it is? I've come to understand you a little more. Understand me? <laughs> Not likely. Someone like you, who forces her own sense of justice onto others, could never understand. I wonder about that. Is that what you think? You have not given me a lot of cause to think otherwise. If I could say one thing. You may not. <laughs> it would be that this conversation has been very interesting. That is all. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Great. cool. Our conversation is coming to an end, however. I have one... One last thing to tell you. The date of your hearing has been set. I came here today to inform you. It was yesterday. You're guilty. What? <laughs> <laughs> today, in the PIC meeting room. May you humbly accept your fate. If that's all you wanted to say, couldn't you have just sent a messenger? The holy words of the goddess of law simply cannot be entrusted to others, and also I wanted to see your stupid face. Okay, real talk. When it's just you and me and there's nobody here, no cameras, what the fuck are you on about, goddess of law? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? What is this bit? Oh, I'm so high right now. With that, Mr. Edgeworth, <laughs> I bid you farewell. This gavel oh, is full of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, is this a bit we're doing? Oh, Courtney! <laughs> Courtney, is this a bit we're doing? Are we good? <laughs> Guilty. Oh, Courtney! <laughs> I'll, use, I'll use the justice system to restore this broken case. <laughs> mm, take a while, that will. You be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this prison cell. It's perfect for my little body. <laughs> <laughs> well... Time to examine the toilets. Take there's a poster. <laughs> there's a poster on the wall. <laughs> no, there isn't, Miles. Oh, no. he's. Oh. <laughs> Miles, it's been like 20 minutes and you're losing it. We are currently out of toilet paper. Please be prepared if you wish to use the toilet. Be what does prepared. it. Be prepared! <laughs> And this paper is tiny and square. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> There's a dining menu sitting on the desk. Seems I can get food delivered if I pay for it. <laughs> this is fucked right up. Yep. Let's, Let's see. see. Toilet paper. Moldy white bread lunch set. Switch to moldy whole wheat bread for an extra dollar. Oatmeal and grit set meal. For a limited time, get extra gruel at no additional cost. Thank goodness I'm not hungry right now. I mean, you're not going to jail, Edgeworth. I don't know why you're in here, actually. <laughs> Go well, to jail. time to get a workout in. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I fucking... I, I never get tired of this fucking sprite. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Gotta work on those calves. Help. 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 I mustn't neglect my personal appearance just because I'm in a holding cell. Prosecutor or not, this is my personal duty. Hmm. My collar is slightly bent! This is the worst thing that's happened today. There. A well-groomed appearance reflects a well-groomed mind. From here on, I'll need to focus myself more than ever. Am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> wasn't, uh, wasn't there like an escape hatch somewhere? In... There are thick bars placed securely on the window. That reminds me. I watched a movie that had iron bars just like these. It was about a plan to escape a prison by filing down the iron bars. Of course, I wouldn't do such a thing. I don't even have a file. No, even if I had one, I still wouldn't do it! I am a good boy! It's a simple bed. I don't expect it to be very comfortable to sleep on. If I were Detective Gumshoe, he would probably snore loud. <laughs> if it were Detective Gumshoe, he would probably snore loudly while sleeping like a log. I may, never get, I may never get a chance to work and or sleep with him again. <laughs> him being a golem and me being a robot, there's no real purpose for with, to sleeping with another person. In fact, we don't need to sleep, but it feels nice. I won't regret it! <laughs> Seriously, like, what, a, what am I looking for here? Can you interact with that? Oh, like, you gotta wait for... Little... You gotta wait for Gumfie, Gumshoe to come in. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is a real time three hour wait. <laughs> There's, a <laughs> There's a poster hanging in the hallway. Please we be prepared. Have no toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. The dice and slice game. Roll the dice and decide your daily menu. The dice and slice game has been cancelled due to the warden's arrest. We sincerely apologize to everyone who is looking forward to it. There's no need to apologize for cancelling such a silly game. I hate fun! Another visitor? Okay. Man, I love her damaged sprite set. It's so much nicer than her actual it one. Is. It's cute. Ah. It seems you're all right. I'm relieved. For now. But when I gotta use that toilet, it's gonna be real difficult. I won't be relieved. You know, this is kind of touching. <laughs> so I, I will say... Uh, whereas I predicted every fucking thing in the first game, I believe I've gotten every twist in this game wrong so far. So, I would love it if this guy wasn't the villain. That would be fun. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But, like, everything about him fucking screams villain. The best thing to ha- like, the thing I desperately hope happens, I don't think it will, I really want Sebastian to secretly be a mastermind of some sort. Just cause, like, fucking okay, so pointlessly wild. Off if we're going off the assumption that the dad is related to Corcusal, because they look very similar. Oh, I'm not. But... No, really? No, that's not usually how Ace Attorney does. Okay, all right. You look a little down, Kay. Please cheer up. You didn't do anything wrong. I guarantee it. Please, just accept it. I am a murderer. Okay, that's not true. Why won't you believe in yourself? What should I believe in? I mean, there's nothing... There's nothing to believe in? That's not true. Before you lost your memories, you literally jumped into my life. And then we and went through... Building. We went through one of the worst cases I've ever been involved with. An alright case, and then just the worst fucking case ever. <laughs> you don't go through something like that and not become friends afterwards. And yet we did! We managed to not be friends! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this pep talk. <laughs> As a result, your words and act your words and actions have become engraved in my memories. Your words That's and actions. Your worms. That's the mark you left behind. How can you call that nothing? I believe in your innocence. That's why you must believe in yourself as well. Believe in the Miles who believes in you. Oh, shut up. Sorry. But it's no use. Look at all the misfortune I've brought upon you. If you can please forget it all, your memories of Kay Faraday. It's not like I can just delete that data. I can, but don't tell her. What about with, uh, with Little Thief, huh? What happened to him? I mean, if you put a magnet against my head, there's a pretty good chance. You know, this takes me back. In my youth, I too was a gallant. Is this the kind of justice that the PIC seeks? Hmm. Justice, huh? I wonder. This man, what is he planning? I can't Why believe they let me bring this in. <laughs> Why is he pushing things forward so forcefully? I hear that if I manage to sneak you, sneak you this lighter, then I'll join your gang. It all seems too unnatural. Huh. Is there a hidden agenda? There's no time left. It's all or nothing now. Well then, I must take my leave. Hold it! Oh. Oh, good. No matter how you look at it, Kay's arrest was unnatural. There must be some- Very spontaneous logic, Jess. Uh... Hey, hey, I'm a busy man, you know. I'm kind of the big deal, you see. I trust this won't take up too much of my time. I have bad news about logic, Chess. In order to make it out of this situation, what? I must... What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what is logic, Chess? Miles starts Hold chucking little me. chess pieces at him. <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> All right, well, now that... Here, you, 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 you drop this here. Ah, ah, don't throw it again. Here, you drop this. <laughs> All right, I'm keeping it this time. Now that you've thrown all of them, oh, that's what you think, unhinges jaw. Logic chest cannon fire! I am a 3D printer. My father saw this coming. 
I don't know what's going to happen to my son or me, but I need to make sure that he can vomit chess pieces. <laughs> Just in case. In order to make it out of this situation, I must break through his defenses. There are plenty of things I want to ask, but my time is limited. First, I'll ask about why he rushed the arrest. I have no intention of letting him push me around. Pew! I will overcome this difficult situation. Logic chess, begin! He says that out loud even though- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know! Why did you rush her- Why? <laughs> Explanation? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You clearly did not follow the proper procedures. Okay, okay. Maybe you should pipe down a bit. Do you even know the position you're in? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God, double God damn it. My, my. I wonder what you're getting so excited about. I sure can't understand the high spirits all you young folks seem to have. There we go, yeah. Ugh. That was a wasted remark. Okay, good, that's a lot more forgiving. Yeah, this, this mini game still lags a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Prosecutor. Suppose we let the criminal escape. What do you think will happen? What will happen? Oh, what will happen? I mean, like a little girl, she'll go to the mall, she'll buy some makeup. That's what <laughs> girls do. <laughs> that would be made to take responsibility, you see. I do hope you understand. Son of a bitch. Just take my advice and stay out of this, if you know what's good for you. I refuse. Kay is innocent. Don't. You know, this is so pitiful. It brings me to tears. Are you okay? Are you gonna be dehydrated? Do you want some Gatorade? Why won't you just give up? Things were finally going well. What does that mean? The fuck does that mean? Things were going well, you say? It's a strange way to put it. It almost sounds as if you personally wanted Kay to be arrested. Far more than necessary. Haven't you lost your impartiality? Uh, ha ha ha, take this. Pew! <laughs> hmm, you think so? That certainly wasn't my intention, you see. Edgeworth, my boy, you're reading too much into it. He skillfully avoided the issue. However, <laughs> I still have some serious <laughs> doubts about Kay's arrest. Next, I shall ask him if the invest- it's just- that'll show him. I can't miss even the tiniest piece of information. That's the only way to break through this situation. You can just yell that she's not the culprit. <laughs> Shit, you right. <laughs> How much time was spent on the investigation? You know, I wonder about that. I don't really remember, you see. What? There's no way I can accept such a careless answer. Like I said, I don't remember. My memory's not as sharp as it used to be, you see. You know who else has memory problems right now? Kay is innocent! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I even forget my own son's name. You know what I wonder if it's gonna come back is in the last case, fucking the bad guy who is Chef Skyrim. He he kept mentioning his son like he was a character over yeah. and over again. I'm wondering if that's gonna come back into play somehow because it was like a weirdly hammered home point and we never met that character. And that's yeah. really strange. I don't care about your idiot son. <laughs> I don't care about your idiot son. I want your answer regarding the investigation. Sorry, I was texting my idiot son. <laughs> yes, he really is an idiot, even though I don't remember raising him like that. <laughs> There's no end to this. He just keeps on dodging the question. Let's try another line of attack to make him take me seriously. I swear, an idiot son. <laughs> it's hard to say the investigation was sufficient. The arrest... Was it under your authority? My, my. 
Do I really look that important? You look pretty crazy. <laughs> the oh, Prosecutorial chairman. Investigation Committee Chairman. It's quite a prominent title. Not that I care much for it. Meanie. Th that was rather blunt. I'm so shocked I could cry. Oh, I'm sorry. Flattery was never my forte. Uh, if you keep talking like that towards me, you'll never get your prosecutor's badge back, you know? <laughs> oh, Muffin! Let me make this clear right now. I do not live for the sake of my badge. Status means nothing to me. Do you understand? Stop throwing those at me. <laughs> mm. Young. So young. Let me teach you something as your senior in life. What you're saying right now, it's far too naive, you see. The look in his eyes has changed. He might respond differently to some of my questions now. This is my chance! How much time was Blah? Mm hmm? Well, well, aren't you an impertinent one? Even someone like me is starting to get annoyed. What a coincidence. I feel the same way. Answer oh. me. Was the investigation sufficient? Young folks always live life in the fast lane. That's why I like to bully them. <laughs> You'll regret this soon enough. What the and fuck are you burning? <laughs> okay. I'm the one bullying you! <sighs> my, my, uh, uh, that's your birth certificate? <laughs> <laughs> I have a warranty. <laughs> oh boy. Mm -hmm. You sure are quiet. Are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. I was just thinking about my next strategy on how to extract information from a weepy old man. You should show some remorse, you know. Don't you get it? I hold your fate in my hands. That was, um... I don't know what I just burned, actually. That might have been important. Oh, shit. I think that was my W4. Oh, shit. In any case, even if you obtain some information, there's nothing you can... Just give up already. I refuse. Oh, shit! <laughs> Mind if I ask why? It's simple. The truth is fading away. That's all there is to it. I see. I'm starting to understand what kind of person you are. But you know... It's all useless. It's enough to make me cry. Give up. That girl's guilt has already been decided. <laughs> That's strange. The way you said that, it almost sounds like it was decided from the very beginning. I'm glad that in addition to having annoyingly huge visual cues that slow down my emulator, uh, it's not just four health points, it's just fucking random when the chess pieces disappear. Great. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> yes, it's clearly unnatural. Everything is progressing as if Kay's guilt was predetermined. Wasn't Kay's arrest planned from the start? I see. That's an interesting theory. I could just say no, but instead I'll be an ace attorney character about it. <laughs> but I don't have time to indulge in your flights of fancy, you know. Why don't we put an end to this silly converse? Curses! He's trying to get away! I'm standing right here. Before that, I must I... find out if the arrest was lawful. I, I could leave at any time. Like, it's, it's you who I'm stuck just walking here. Around. I'm yeah, I have no weight in this conversation. <laughs> It's still very faint, but I'm beginning to see a path to the truth. I can't let this opportunity slip by! Okay. 
he's not the culprit. Please wait. There's still something I want to ask you. I've grown weary of our little tete a tete. Tete tater tot. Please keep it short, okay? If I put together what you have told me up until now, I cannot help but say that there is no basis for Kay's arrest. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. I understand, you see. But you know, it doesn't really matter either way. You can't overturn her arrest. How irresponsible. Do you still claim to be a man of the law? My, my, those are some harsh words, you know. Hmm. You know, you're starting to make me a little angry. You see, to be honest, I really can't answer all your questions, you know. That's just the position I'm in, you see. I'm a busy man, you know. Aren't you just pretending to be busy? Me? <laughs> That's cruel, you know? This old chunk of coal has been working like a dog. Pretending. Just what do you think that would accomplish? I love this guy's animations. Yeah, yeah he's fun. Also, he's shredded. Yeah, that's, that's unhealthy. Shredded. Huh? So you've grown silent. Does this mean I can go now? Oops. Ra ra ra. I don't know, dude. Wait on the second one. Oh, sorry. It's it's hard to remember because it's all nonsense. <laughs> yeah. I uh. I don't know. I just can't figure out logic chess. I've never gotten it. Basis. Basis, and then wait. Then wait. Okay. And then you have to pick a piece. On okay. The, the one after. Crunch. Mm. Okay. Ah. You don't want to. <sighs> okay, good. You don't want to talk about the case. Isn't that why you're trying to get away from this place? I mean, like, I feel like that's obvious. <laughs> Why would he want to talk about it to you? Oh, how sad. Yeah, so sad indeed. Do you really suspect little old me? I do suspect you, and I'm confident about it. There was clearly no basis for Kay's arrest. My, my, have you forgotten? Wasn't there evidence? The mask, the letter, and the corsage all were found in the girl's possession. Not to mention, she even confessed. All of this serves to prove her crime. That's... right. True? Yeah, super true. Any objections? <laughs> Son of a... OBJECTION! Fuck! My manuscript? Now, whenever both options are something stupid, that means you have to wait. You know, you'd think that. It is not always the case. <laughs> Man. Logic chess is terrible. I I still haven't figured out why it's in the game. I think it's because they always want to add, like, a Psyche Locks or... Uh, wait, 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 wait. The Apollo Justice thing where he can perceive or the Mood Matrix. Like, they always want a mini game, and this one just doesn't work at all. Uh, you don't want to talk, don't about, want to talk it. about it, and then wait again, probably. Then he's going to say something incriminating. You see, you have no response. It's true. I have no objections. Although there is one point that bothers me. This man seems awfully familiar with the evidence. Like someone talked to him about it. 
To remember everything without missing a beat. That intrigues me. This could be- oh god, that- I, all I got from that is a clue? K is not the culprit! My, my, that's a rather bold claim, you know. Anyone can shout objections at the top of their lungs, you see. Mr. Former Prodigy Prosecutor. Ugh. Oh, well, I died. Be nice to me. Once more into the brink. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basis? What's the basis? Go. It's... Eight. It doesn't click forward when, I, like, my hesitation is always because I have to, like, click and then wait to see if it actually clicks or not. Yeah, wait to see what the emulator's doing. Yeah. Okay, and then this one is, you don't, don't want to talk about. about it. Then wait again. Crunch. And then... How sad. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Still saying words at me with your dumb mouth. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. You're making me uncomfortable with your vocabulary. Goodbye, kind yet stupid nerd. I'm very unhappy here. I'm leaving. <laughs> I do find it interesting how they... they put a letter on both members of this uh, setup. They're like, you get a letter and you get a letter. We need to make it <laughs> convincing that they were they were communicating. Okay. I, it has to be this one. So there must be a different route I can take on here. Um, who made the decision? Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? Mm, well, I can't say I remember. Growing old is a terrible thing, you see. My memory's not what it used to be, you know. I'm also gonna save because I don't want to click through all that again. Respectable. Perhaps I should use that clue. <laughs> don't play dumb with me. Didn't you remember all of the evidence in full detail just now? Stop pretending to be a forgetful old man when things aren't going your way. No. <laughs> now then. Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? I see. You're a sharp one, aren't you? You know, I wish my son could learn from you. Because he's a real idiot. <laughs> I'm not interested in your son. I'm interested in Dick Gumshoe and maybe Phoenix Wright. Who made the decision for the arrest? You can't say that. You're under arrest. Fuck. <laughs> I'm already under arrest. What you gonna do? Oh, logic chairs! <laughs> no! Adds five more pieces to his side of the board. <laughs> You're a bad man, you know. Don't you already know? The one who ordered her arrest. I've got you now! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Boop. I say it might be wise to just loan. Yeah. Use that Boy. clue. Remember this from the other timeline? <laughs> the world oh. <laughs> I'm getting some crazy deja vu, kid. Wonder why that would be. I can't imagine why. It must be uh, your old age, you know. It's me, Miles Edgeworth. Hello, hello. Miles Edgeworth here. Miles Edgeworth here. Zuko here. And that's what happened. And that's what happened. <laughs> I don't know, man. I there but like, why would he admit that if I go, you? <laughs> I don't understand what logic chess is like accomplishing, I guess. Yeah. It feels really obtuse. Yeah, it, it feels like something that could be done much faster 
and less annoyingly through just talking to them through a normal conversation tree that isn't on a fucking timer. Like, if you want me yeah. to... There'd be no gameplay. If you want gameplay, then have me present a right piece of evidence to someone. Like in every other Phoenix Wright game. But this isn't Phoenix Wright. You can't say that name. <laughs> the person mind surfing. The person <laughs> right in front of me. I'm certain of it. He looks behind him. The guard? <laughs> You make it sound like I committed some kind of injustice. Guess I'll have to clear that up. My honor's at stake here, you see. Very well. I'll continue to play along with you until you're satisfied. Can we stop logic chess? What's most crucial here is how much this man knows about this case. Oh yeah, you're really on the ball, Miles. If I can get him to reveal that, then I'll know what he knows about this case. <laughs> Jeez, you should go to like law school. You're smart. <laughs> Save. Boopy 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 boop. Be a good defense attorney. <laughs> you seem pretty familiar with the case. I'm a wise man, you snow. You, you snow. Yes, I'm so. familiar with most things, you see. I don't think it was very wise of you to arrest Kay in this case. Really? Uh-oh. Do oh. oh. you have any uh, suggestions of what I might be able to do to fix it? <laughs> Should I burn this arrest warrant? Well, I just did. <laughs> so. Wait, who can play at that game? <laughs> I'm a very busy man. I can end this conversation anytime I want, you know. Don't you forget about that. This would have already been over if you had simply answered my questions. If you give me a if you give me a proper answer, I won't take any more of your time. I will ask you once again: Why are you so familiar with this case? I read the case files. Shit. Honestly, <laughs> it was quite a drag, you know. But it's my job, so what could I do? Because of my <laughs> position, you see, I can't just skip out on it. <laughs> I, I love your read as this character, Will. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> well, I had some time to kill, so I figured I'd kill her at the, the reading. I figured I'd read. <laughs> That's strange. Didn't you just say you were very busy? Get You're off my catching him on the most minor things. You're like, I'm not, I'm not being clever. I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> I thought your memory sucked, good sir. <laughs> Aren't your faults slowly coming to light now? Well, yes, you have a sound argument, but you made a typo in paragraph two. <laughs> Discrediting everything you've said. If you truly wish to protect your position, I would advise you rescind the arrest order. You really are desperate, you know? That never say die attitude <laughs> touches my heart. But you know... It's unfortunate that all your hard work was for naught. Because we discovered her unconscious body near the crime scene, you see. Oh, that seems like an important detail for me to just say. What was the weather like at the time? Was it this, raining? This is the first I've heard of Kay's condition when she was found. She was unconscious in the storeroom? Uh, uh oh. That's right. Uh, the source of that information is classified. Oh, Your voice is turning into like a joke character <laughs> for a tabletop. Oh no. Bugsy I'm Pugsler. I'm turning into a gorilla. <laughs> that was the voice you did for Bugsley originally. Yeah. <laughs> this man knows things that even I don't know. Unbelievable. Does he know the whole story behind this case? Yeah. This could be a useful clue. <laughs> Seem to know quite a bit, I guess. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad it doesn't let you do it again. That's nice. The suspect. Regarding Kay. How much do you know about her? She's the suspect in this case. That's all I know, you see. Scout's on her. Perhaps I should use that clue. Like... So imagine I'd press the first answer. And hit a brick wall immediately. Fucking what's the point? Like... Yeah, it, it just eats time. Something you've said feels out of place. 
You know about things that the crime scene investigation never revealed. Why is that? Just how much of the truth do you know? Um. <laughs> You're making that forceful face again. You know, it kind of makes me want to do the same like this. You really are a persistent one, you know. But I can admire that, you see. I will take that as a compliment. Good. Can't you give it a rest already? At my age, my body's not as strong as it once was, you know? How old are you? 38. <laughs> Sebastian's six months old. <laughs> He's another robot. <laughs> there is no one else who could be the culprit beside We've her. We've him wrong as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> she was even given that much evidence to show that she committed the crime. What? What? She was given evidence, you say? It's an odd choice of words. It God, almost no sounds shit. as if she did not possess them under her own will. <laughs> Speaking of wills, I'm gonna burn mine. I see. You really do have a fine eye for the details. Can you look at me? Hey, oh, up here. Wow. Like, are you seeing this? I... I am. Wow, Holy I... Shit. What were we talking about? Yes, logic chess is in my court. <laughs> <laughs> As expected, a former prodigy prosecutor. You're already... You've already found your answer, haven't you? I'm listening, so go ahead and say it. There's no need to hold back. Not when I have save states. Yeah, that's good. I have finally wrenched open the heavy door to the truth. Now all that remains is to strike oh, the final blow. K is not the culprit! My, my. That's a rather bold claim, you know. Anyone can shout objections at the top of their lungs, you see. Mr. Former Prodigy Prosecutor. I shall break through this with that clue! The Your true team. culprit! K was framed! Like, that's what we fought for the past 20 minutes? The true culprit is pinning the blame on her. I know, Ace Attorney. You're an Ace Attorney game. <laughs> that is my answer. Could you imagine a case where you're like, oh, plucky, shit. Your plucky anime what did he do? actually killed somebody. He, he lit I'm... his beard on fire and then opened the goggles to drop water on it to put the fire out. I would, I said to, I was talking to someone where I would love to see a case where like, Somehow, be it by accident or otherwise, Maya is the suspect again, but this time she straight up killed a person. Just cause Whoops. like, fuck her. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a clever one. Am I? <laughs> it almost makes me feel bad that your prosecutor's badge was taken away, you know? Yes, it's as you say. Checkmate! We started you... here, dude! <laughs> like... Eureka, Francisca! Eureka, Francisca! I really hope the guard didn't hear that conversation. Oh, shit, man. You arrested Kay even when you knew of the existence of the true culprit. Don't toy with me. There is no way such an act would be tolerated. You sure are green, you know. That's what a prosecutor is supposed to do. No, it's not. It will all work out fine if we make her guilty. Now look into this pendulum. <laughs> yeah, that's that is what I keep seeing. Who would desire such a resolution? If I had to say, maybe the PIC, and also maybe me, you know. <laughs> when I heard your words just now, I could barely hold back my tears, you know. It was just so splendid, you see, and it burns me up inside. I'm not the most perfect piece of work, you know, so I can't forgive such youthfulness. You say the truth is important. But you know, once you know the real value the truth holds, I wonder if you can still say the same thing. What are you trying to say? 
When you get to where I am, you can just create your own truth anytime you want. Kay Faraday is the culprit. That was a truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. See, like, wouldn't it, have been, wouldn't it have been fine for him to just walk up to us and start gloating? Since we already that's, immediately that's, assumed that he yes, was... that's probably what you probably should have just done that, but it's Ace Attorney. Grr, they usually do that. Good. Very good. That face, that expression. Okay, now I can see it. Oh, there it is. You were such a desperate one, you see. That's why I really wanted to bully you, you know? Be nice to me. I will not. <laughs> please, she... please no bully. <laughs> Even if you know the truth, there is simply nothing you can do. And that's the real value of truth. So shocking that it's to die for, you know? Why won't you pursue the true culprit? How much of the truth do you know? Oh, I got like a fair amount, I guess. Do you know? Do you understand now? The truth that you believe in is worthless, you see? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, powerless former prosecutor? You... Ooh, scary. <laughs> scary! <laughs> scary! Yeah, scary! <laughs> you know, I guess the friends of a heinous criminal are also quite heinous themselves. Please! You! Me! <laughs> <laughs> and like this, you see, one more person will disappear before me. Oh, here come the waterworks. These tears of mine just won't stop, you know? <laughs> Bye, I gotta bitch. go. Was I not supposed to hear that? <laughs> Holy fuck, did you, did you really? What? <laughs> hey, everyone! Everything will be decided in tonight's deliberation. Kay's innocence. I will definitely prove it! Great. Yeah, no, that sounds cool. I'm here too! <laughs> oh, good. How great! Oh boy, I'm here a lot, aren't I? It's not what I expected. Ten members are present. Wasn't there eleven? I mean, of the evil ring, but one of them died. Yeah, yeah she's one... fucking dead. Yeah, they're, they're kind of dead. Yeah. The quorum has been met. From here on out, let the council begin. Jill couldn't be here on a kind of death. <laughs> on a kind of death. I'm imagining that, like, this is the case where Courtney stops being the worst and, like, something about her saves Miles at the end. And then she dies in the last case. Oh, no. Today's deliberation shall be about Miles Edwards, Ed, Edgeworth's aptitude and ability as a prosecutor. Let our members discuss this matter with a clear conscience of the goddess of law. A clear. Well, didn't he give up his badge? Yes. Why is this still necessary? Yes. <laughs> Shit, you got me. <laughs> a clear. Case adjourned. A clear. Go. Okay, bye. A clear <laughs> conscience. Don't make me laugh. Courtney, uh, please give us your report. My reportney. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. On April 5th, Prosecutor Edgeworth carried out an illegal investigation and resisted arrest. He was arrested by two of our members who caught him in the act, myself and Blaze de Best. Prosecutor Edgeworth disrupted the investigation of attorney Jill Crane's murder. He claims that the culprit, Kay Faraday, was arrested without sufficient evidence. Even now, his claim remains unchanged. Tell us more about the murder incident. Tell us more, tell us more. Did he look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> On April 5th, the victim's body was found here in the PIC meeting room. Regarding the, the details... I, Sebastian DeBest, the best prosecutor, will enlighten you! No, no, sh The prosecutor in charge, Sebastian DeBest, will ex slowly pushing him aside. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> The murder happened on the night of April 4th. The victim was one Jill Crane. What the mm -hmm. fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. The masks, right. So who who do you think is the fucker who drew the short straw and had to be the bad badger? <laughs> on the same night, a black market auction was being held in this very meeting room, which I guess we're just not even going to investigate. I guess Miss Crane was taking part in the auction. Yep. 
The murder occurred in the middle of the auction. Did it no Oh, that was Courtney. Sorry. <laughs> That's right, de best. You're the best. When Miss Crane was found, she was dressed like the conductor of the auction. However, based on the fact that the conductor... No, that the auction continued... Hang on, looks through note cards. Okay, continued after the murder occurred. I deduce that Miss Crane could not have been the conductor. I wrote this down for you. How did you fuck this? I mean... <laughs> you, you weren't the one who made that deduction. Sebastian, please show everyone the basis for the arrest of the culprit. You got it, Justine. Kay Faraday was unable to bear the weight of her good conscience. I believe you mean her guilty conscience. Yes, it was her guilty conscience that drove her to confess the crime. According to her confession, on the roof of this building, she met a figure in a red raincoat on the viewing platform. Don't look at what I'm wearing, by the way. <laughs> Crane was wearing a red raincoat. Not like mine. Or yes, mine. that's correct. The culprit used the conductor's clothes as a red herring to mislead us. A red raincoat herring. <laughs> At the time of the murder, Miss Crane was wearing a red raincoat. It was I who discovered the raincoat near this building. By the way, put that down on the record. He did? I'm sure it was the forensics team who found it. To be more precise, it was the forensics team under huh? Sebastian's orders who discovered it. I thought as much! <laughs> According to the blood analysis, there was blood. The person in the red <laughs> raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ra loud rabble from the room. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Uh, uh, yes, all right, I'm gonna slip each of you guys five bucks every time you react to something he says. The person in the red raincoat and Miss Crane were the same person. The decisive evidence is the culprit's own confession. She testified that she killed her. That's right, the culprit is Kay Faraday. It couldn't have been anyone else but her. Well then, Edgeworth, if you have any objections, let's hear them. I have no objections. I see, I see. It seems all the fight's gone on if you have OBJECTION! Right. I have Fucking no objections rude. to your claim that I investigated illegally. I admit to that. However, I object to the claim that Kay is the culprit. I will testify that Sebastian's investigative investigation was fair and just. <laughs> of course it was, Justine. Don't you know that I'm the fairest in the land? Wow. Still going. <laughs> Still on fire. Uh, Edgeworth, my boy, despite how things may seem, I actually kind of like you. You know, I uh -huh. sent you something to uh, just circle yes or no. If, and this is just an if, you see, if you were to withdraw your objection, you might be sitting on this side of the bench tomorrow. I'll ask you one more time, Edgeworth. Do you have any objections? Don't take me for a fool. I'll advise you to watch what you say. This man is the one who should watch what he is saying. I'm talking about the case, not about a chair. I demand a testimony. By all means, let me hear it. I want to know how the PIC understands this case. A testimony from us, eh? Fine, then. If that's what it takes to make you happy. <laughs> Courtney, give him the materials from the, the investigation. Sir, but that's... It's the end of the line for him. I'll let him go out in the blaze of glory. That's his name! <laughs> yes! If you insist, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Why don't we have Courtney give the testimony? I have no objections. Let's shake on it. Mr. Edgeworth. Don't worry, Kay. You just watch from over there. You sure you don't want me to give the testimony? Uh -huh. I'm gonna punch you in the throat. Miss Crane went to the black market auction as a customer. The red raincoat was one of the items up for auction. We believe that she left her seat after winning the bid for it. The only exit from the storeroom is that hatch that leads to the viewing platform. Miss Crane went out of the viewing platform, where she was attacked by Kay Faraday. That's how she met her end, and that concludes my summary of the case. The red raincoat was up for auction. 
Is that a fact? But there was no price on it. It is quite likely. The red raincoat had been a piece of evidence. In the assassination attempt on the president of Zheng Fa, as you well know. Oh yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. It's Originally, literally been over a year. Yeah. It should have been stored in an appropriate place. But when I asked about it, I learned that it went missing. And it somehow made its way to the black market auction. Certainly a natural conclusion. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm behind uh, you. My, my. Well done, Courtney. Your explanation is as clear as ever. Sir, can you keep your beard away from me? It's going to dampen <laughs> my clothing. Sorry, it creeps away sometimes. I am much obliged. Prosecutor Edgeworth, will you concede defeat now? Fuck no. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't plan on it. I see. I am relieved. Relieved? What does she mean? Are you going to become a character instead of a wall? Come, come to think of it, her reasoning for questioning me yesterday remains a mystery. Just what is she thinking? So, the red raincoat was also up for auction. Yes, it had belonged to Shelley the Killer. Um, was based on the circumstances, we must consider that it was an item. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was That's what he. Fair. That was what he wore when he targeted the president of Zheng Fa. There was a mannequin that was positioned unnaturally amongst the auction goods. That may have been where the red raincoat had been on display. Oh, shit! Do you know how the goods were procured? We're currently investigating it. But it's none of your concern, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Um... Soon you'll be nothing more than an ordinary individual, and then you will be finished. I love how the stakes here aren't even Edgeworth, like, going to prison. It's just him losing a badge <laughs> he already rescinded. It seems the results of this deliberation have already been decided. Enough about me. Well, yeah, by you, dude. You quit. <laughs> Please, continue your testimony. Since the raincoat had been up for auction... Believe that she left her seat after winning the bid for it. The only exit from the storeroom is the hatch that leads to the viewing platform. Uh, I mean, actually, let me check what evidence I have too. There's a lift, right? There's the lift, but that's how she got up there. I guess, yeah. There's also the box. It's not an <laughs> exit, but this crane went onto the viewing platform where she was attacked by Kay Faradori. Kay Faradori. Why would Kay do such a thing? We intend to question her about that later. You haven't already? <laughs> later? That seems to be your favorite time for interrogations. Shut the fuck up. If the culprit <laughs> was aware that the customers were required to exit from the hatch, it would have been easy to lie and wait for an ambush. Miss Crane was attacked when she was leaving the hatch. Met her end. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Wait, wasn't she stabbed in the storeroom? She passed away. Or to be more precise, she was murdered. Objection. The candelabra was one of the items in the auction. Therefore, Kay should not have been able to get her hands on it. If she was able to lie in wait for the attack, then she must have known about the storeroom. If she sneaked into the storeroom during the auction, she could have obtained it. Um, now, if we only had some way to know for sure where the candle bra was during the entire auction, <laughs> you know, how about it? Hmm. There is no such evidence. Uh-oh. My apologies. Sisters. I mean, I <laughs> Edgeworth, it's too bad, you know. It seems you won't be able to use this line of attack. The victim encountered the culprit on top of the roof, and the crime occurred there. That's not right. According to her reasoning, the murder took place at the viewing platform. Was that really the case? Yes, I give up. Some piece of evidence must have uh, be right. That's how this game works. Otherwise, I'd lose. 
Yeah, okay. so here, the the blood stain on the lift, probably? Yeah, let's see. I want to see what the exact phrasing on these things is. Just after the crime... Uh... Mm, it's not exact enough. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I guess if she was attacked outside, why would she be... Bleeding. There. I guess... Or this. Yeah, this. Like, this makes more sense to anything. me. See, like, the problem is, it's always, like, one but not the other, and then you can present the other. This one makes more sense to me, because there's no reason blood would be in here. Yeah, um, that's a lot of blood. Yeah, I guess they're... I'll try it. Objection. Didn't think so. That's not how that shit works. I'll try this one. Objection. No. One of these fucking things. Objection. Nope. Nope. You just tried that one. You can Did try it. the phone. Oh, though. right, because I loaded state. I was like, oh, there's a third piece of evidence? Mm. Crunch. Oh, what's, what's Lada's testimony? <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. The photo mentions someone screaming in the storeroom. Yeah. So Seems like more of a stretch than blood, but I'll try it. Yeah, okay, I guess that's the one. Judge Courtney, I have found it to be strange for a while now. Why is Miss Hart here with us? She is an eyewitness to this case. Isn't it only natural for her to be in attendance? Yeehaw! <laughs> I reckon I'm more of an ear witness than an eye witness. Shut up. <laughs> Seems gaining the trust of others isn't your strong point, Judge Courtney. Perhaps oh. I simply do not wish to be as tactless as you. By making friends? <laughs> <laughs> it appears that you have failed to get the witness to tell you the most vital information. Please look at this photo. This was taken by Miss Hart. This photo seems to have been taken in the storeroom. And what of it? According to your reasoning, the incident took place on the viewing platform. However, Miss Hart encountered the incident in the storeroom. That's right. It had taken place just before this photo was taken. I can't believe you didn't know this. Wait! Unless she's trying to lead us here. Wait! Wait! If that's true, then Justine's reasoning! Exactly. It does not hold up. What? Yeah, I think she's intentionally leading. What? Him. I don't get it! <laughs> Miss Hart, allow me to ask you again. You saw the person in the photo with your own eyes, correct? Yeah! Oh, uh, shit, sorry, I was all tab. And what did you think at the time? I figured I was about to get me a big scoop, you know? I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> That's not what I meant. Uh, what did you think of that person? Mm, I reckon she'd help me bring home the bacon. Are you mocking me? Ah, shucks. Don't make that scary old face. I was just a harmless little joke. Just a prank, bro. Just <laughs> <laughs> a prank, bro. I reckon they were the culprit. I hope you understand now. The crime occurred in the... Okay. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I cannot understand your argument if you do not say it out loud. Well, see, I was about to, but you stopped no, me. <laughs> fuck you. If you had simply asked, I would have been more than willing to explain. Explain what? The sounds Miss Hart heard may not necessarily be related to the case. Objection! That is impossible, even though I never asked what the sound was. Enough of your excuses! Was the voice that Miss Hart heard really that of Miss Crane? Lotta. So shady conversation must have had something to do with the case. <clears throat> what did her voice sound like? A man's? Her, her voice? Well, that beats me. How's I supposed to know? They were both using voice changers. Yes. The voice Miss Hart heard had been altered by a device. We must therefore question whether or not they have any bearing on this case. I mean, I feel like they do. Tap, tap. 
You think the scream had anything to do with the murder? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Preposterous. You need not object just because you wish to sigh. Judge Courtney, it seems I have greatly overestimated you. No, no. Courtney is quite amazing, you see. Oh! You claim that the sounds Miss Hart heard have no bearing on this case? Even if they do not, it doesn't change the fact that the crime took place in the storeroom. At the very least, the crime must have occurred before the victim went up to the rooftop. The reason being... The blood on the hand! This is problematic. At first, I thought the person in the red raincoat was the culprit. Oh, it's Kay somehow. What? Oh. Well, Miss Hart's testimony certainly made it sound that way. Precisely. It's because she saw that person's hand was covered in blood. Luckily, they, they weren't involved in the murder. One of the pieces of evidence was a bag of blood. <laughs> Anyone who heard her testimony would have arrived at the same conclusion. The person in the red raincoat was the culprit, and the blood on their hands was the victim. However, if the person in the red raincoat was the victim, then the victim... <laughs> if the person in the red raincoat was the victim, then the situation changes completely. Since blood can be seen in this photo, it must have been taken after the crime occurred. It seems we've been under the wrong impression in regards to the victim's condition. This photo shows the true condition of the victim. The victim... Still alive, I... I guess. The victim was definitely attacked in the storeroom. Immediately afterwards, the victim was seen with blood on her hand. That must mean the victim was still alive, even after she was attacked. The blood on her hand must have come from her own wound. No way! Are you saying that she died from a hand injury? No, that is not the case. I suspect she just held her hand against the wound. Jesus Christ, get him out of here. I can't be seen in, it can't be seen in the photo at this moment, but she must have suffered a fatal wound. Ho ho, if that's true, then it changes a lot of things, you know. It seems you understand. This refutes the allegations against Kay. Kay encountered the victim after this picture was taken. I believe at that point in time, the victim was already on the verge of death. It's unlikely Kay just happened to be present when the victim reached the end of her strength. That is quite the coincidence. Indeed. I can only say that she was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Prosecutor Edgeworth, it seems you have forgotten a crucial fact. Ah, you mean that, right? He must be pretending that he hasn't noticed it, you see. What did you say? What the fuck did you just say? Are you implying hey, that whoa, I forgot whoa. something? I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gordon. I think it's about time you gave him his last rights. Hey, Pops, Justine's with me, you know? Don't order her around like that. Shut up. <laughs> you know, even though you're my son, you're fucking embarrassing. I'm not embarrassing. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, but you're both rather embarrassing. Justine, what? give Muster <laughs> Mustard Edgeworth his... <laughs> um... Oh Very God. well. <laughs> I shall give him his last rites. When the body was found, there were three wounds in Miss Crane's chest. I'm sure you're well aware of what kind of wounds these were, right? Yes, she was stabbed in the heart with the three-pronged candelabra. Is there any person who could have survived such an injury? Oh, gum shoe. <laughs> Autopsy report. Can you still say the same thing after reading it? Well done, Justine. With this, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. I will offer a rebuttal, of course. Why do you do that? Didn't you hear what Justine just said? Of course I did. And I still plan to object to it. It's not fair! You're always opposing me at every turn. It was never my intention to oppose you. Huh. Really? It's simply not worth my time. Uh, I see. So that's how it is. Justine, does Edward like me? Are we friends? Yep, yep. <laughs> After all, I'm... Okay. That's enough, you know. 
You're embarrassing your father, you see. Oh? Huh? What do you mean, Pops? Okay. I'll never tell you. <laughs> you dumb fucker. Dad has a funny little pet name for me. He calls me dumb fucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. I'm sure you're well aware what these kind of wounds, right? They're stab wounds. She was stabbed in the heart with a three-pronged candelabra. Is there any person and, who could survive uh, such an injury? Who's gonna die, right? I don't know, can we? I don't know, let's find out. What, which one's the autopsy report? It's the one with a picture of her face. There it is. Had one was... Burn mark on victim's hand. Hmm. I mean, there's nothing that refutes anything. Victim's body was discovered in the PIC meeting room. The estimated time, blah, 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 blah. The cause of death was stab wounds to the left chest with a candelabra. Head wound was post-mortem. Burn mark on victim's hand. Uh, we don't have the raincoat, do we? No. Well, we might have it. it the one covered in soccer petals. Hang on. Yeah, we do. We have oh, one. Oh, we do. It doesn't have stab wounds in it? That's... That's legit. Um... Yeah. I don't know what else it could maybe be. That, maybe we're not talking about that right this second, but yeah. it seems like that'll be... Mm, that's blood. No, maybe it's... Maybe it's to do with the... the candelabra having the base of it be in the um, storeroom? Maybe. I don't know if I have anything that points to that in my evidence, though, unless it's in this photo. No. no. Well, what's in the photo is that the raincoat should have been on it. Yeah. Well, she's wearing the raincoat. Yeah. Yeah, but it should have been on the mannequin. So, alright. Hypothetically, she's already been stabbed wearing the raincoat. Which means that the ring, the raincoat should have puncture wounds in it. It should. I don't. They didn't yeah. write anything about it, so I don't know if it's relevant. Yeah. Let me look at the. Let's let's press a little bit. Okay. Uh. I don't know. Is there? At the very least, we cannot be certain that she died instantly. I think we can. Even if she still had a little bit of life left, I doubt she would have held on for long. Okay. Uh, um, can people survive after being stabbed in the chest? In some cases, maybe they can. Although maybe they can't. Well, uh, so, in the end, which one was it? No such human exists. If you think they do, then first... You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. According to the autopsy report, the stab wounds to the left chest caused the fatality. Correct. The autopsy report itself is the foundation for my reasoning. In other words, I just have to shatter that foundation, right? I don't find that amusing at all. I look forward to seeing you try. Nevertheless, please take a close look at the autopsy report before you make a rebuttal. Show me that your reasoning is not just mere conjecture. Very well. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? We'll be fine, I'm Kay. Sorry, I'm very distracted. There's nothing for you to worry about. Evidence that the victim was alive after the incident. If I can just find that, Kay will be! She keeps mentioning the autopsy report, like, really I'm specifically. She's like, hey, idiot! Open have you, the autopsy report. Have you checked the autopsy report? And he's like, that's it! The raincoat! Um, look at it closely. Yeah, I mean... She's got the blood on that same hand. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess she could have been wearing the raincoat on top of this, so there's no reason that this couldn't be. Eh. Yeah, I don't know if that's the issue. Yeah, she has a thing. Can't zoom in or anything. I mean, the body was discovered in the meeting room. Like, what are the pieces of information here? Body in the meeting room. 
Time of death is between late last night and midnight. Maybe something about the time somehow. The cause of death was stab wounds. Yeah. Head wound was post-mortem. Burn mark on the hand. Oh, the, oh, the other page is the picture, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, head wound was post-mortem. Yeah, that doesn't matter, though. Yeah, that, no one's arguing about the head wound right now. Is there anything? Is, is there a clock in here? No. Nope. Okay. There's a clock on the side of the building. There sure is. That's true. Oh, wait a second. Um, wh What time of death did it say? It was like between 10 and midnight, I think. Let me look. Sorry, it's really slow. Unfortunately, the gameplay part of this game does not work well with the emulator. Uh, between, oh, late last night and midnight. That's useless. Didn't she, didn't she not um, punch into the room until 12.15? Okay, that could be it. Crunch. That's a ticket stub. Nope. Nope, it's the next page. That one. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Cheat. All right. I, I guess it would have to be the one where she's just like, look at the autopsy report. Um, okay. Kind of a weird contradiction, but sure. No. Nope. Judge Courtney, don't you have a problem with that statement just now? Should I have a problem with it? Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> exactly. Because there is no problem at all! I'm a dumbass. In that case, you should have refrained from speaking in the first place. Doesn't stop you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think that left a good impression. Who cares? You're not, you don't have a lot of goodwill to burn here, Edgeworth. Uh, I'll, I'll press. Click I'll over and see what he says at the end. Cause he usually- I think I did. Really fucking obvious. Cause if you, if you press the final one, usually it just goes automatically. No, yeah. I mean this part. Oh. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's just press through. It might pop something new up. Three wounds. That sounds rather painful. Indeed. Cool press. <laughs> <laughs> we must punish the culprit accordingly. I, I... Kay, do not listen to what she says. Pretend she's Sebastian. Judge Courtney, please continue <laughs> your reasoning. Very well. She had three wounds. Wait, didn't she have four wounds? <laughs> Why don't you ask Sebastian instead? Of course, Sebastian knows all about it. Huh? Uh, me? Uh, yeah! Yeah, I know everything! He's obviously lying. <laughs> oh, Sebastian. Maybe you should sneak peek at the autopsy report, you know? Man, they are really cluing in that autopsy report. Um, let's see here. Uh... The fatal wound was caused by the candle bra. <gasps> oh, so that's how it was. <clears throat> the cause of the wound was just as Sebastian said. Uh, yes, yes, that's true. Accurate. So the cause of death was a stab wound to the heart. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, the candelabra pierced right into her heart. But let's hear Sebastian say it. <laughs> Since this was Dr. Young's medical opinion, it must be the truth. The coroner's medical opinion follows my own opinion. Therefore, it's perfect. I certainly cannot ignore the autopsy reports. However... Hey! Don't ignore my opinion! However, if the cause of death was a stab wound to the victim's chest, wouldn't it contradict that piece of evidence? Oh, he's totally ignoring me. Justine! Say something! Yes. I will not allow you to ignore my reasoning. You can ignore his reason. <laughs> Alright, then the way Edgeworth reacted makes me think it's this one. I... I mean, are just... Is it just that none of these, uh... They're not exactly on the heart? Like, none of them line up? I mean, like, this one could be on the heart. I'm, yeah. I'm just thinking when they're like, she had three wounds. I'm like, technically she has four. One is post-mortem. Yeah, they're has... not bringing that up, and I don't know why. I'll try this. No. All right. 
Uh, I'm just going to look it up. We're on a stream. We got to get going. Yeah. All right. Chunk. <laughs> Chunk. I swear to God, you're probably just putting it on the wrong fucking thing. Yeah, that's it's that's how be it like, be. The first statement, idiot. Present the red raincoat on the third statement. Okay. Oh, it is the raincoat. All right. Let's let's see how. Oh my God. Which one's the third statement? One, two, three. Okay. So I guess we were on the right track originally with. Oh God damn it! I mean, they just. They're they're cluing in so hard to the autopsy report. No, fuck you, raincoat. Chairman DeBest, do you know what this is? It seems to be a red raincoat. How about it? The victim, Miss Crane, was wearing this earlier. Prosecutor Edgeworth, must I repeat my explanation to you all over again? I suppose it just might come to that. Judge Courtney, answer me this. This red raincoat was stained with blood. What was it? It doesn't say that. Do you happen to remember specifically where those blood stains were located? Am, am I a moron? I don't. No, no it, it does. It does. It does. Where? Of course I do. They were on the hood. Wait, it can't be. Yeah, it says it's covered in blood and petals. Oh yeah, blood on the hood. Okay. All right, that's on me. Hmm. What does this mean? Judge Courtney. Were there any other blood stains besides the one on the hood? Who could say it's red? <laughs> None were detected. Well, if only there was a scientist! <laughs> Don't you think it's strange? The victim died from a stab wound to the chest. In that case, there should have been bloodies on the front of the raincoat. However, <laughs> the only blood they found was on the hood. This is a huge contradiction. Huge! Enormous! Big! The wound You're on the saying the coroner lied. The really shady coroner. Who I'm sure will have nothing to do with this or any other case. No. The wound on the victim's head is no ordinary wound. After all, the victim sustained this wound before she was stabbed in the chest. Did she? it said post mortem, but okay. It does appear that way, doesn't it? The victim first suffered the head wound. If she had already been stabbed in the chest, the raincoat would have been stained with blood. And punctured, but no one's talking about that. Yeah. Therefore, it is unthinkable that her chest was stabbed before she suffered the head wound. So the order of the wounds would be first the head, followed by the chest. However, does that really change the situation? With this, yes. a contradiction is born. One that overturns all of our assumptions up until now. Is the change really that great? I look forward to it. What if she was it. actually hit by the elevator on the way down and that's what bonked her in the head and that's where all the blood came from? I, I straight up just assumed when we saw the elevator move down that she literally just got accidentally squished by it. Yeah, yeah. Well then, this contradiction, show it to me. Where's the evidence? Which piece of evidence is a uh, contradiction? It's the, this one's the autopsy report. The autopsy report. So it was the autopsy report, but you're not supposed to present it first. Yeah, you know, I gotta I gotta give credit to um slightly to dual destinies and especially for Spirit of Justice. They get real good about um making every like cycle through the hints. Like like you said earlier, where they usually drop the obvious hint. It's it's usually obvious enough in like a pun somewhere that it's almost a free hint coin or giveaway. Mm. According to this, the head wound was post mortem. But that's not what the raincoat shows. Exactly. It's the exact opposite. Fuck! Bailiff! Hurry and summon Dr. Bonnie Young at once. Until we hear what she has to say, we cannot close the curtains on this case. Oh, I don't think we need to do that. Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma'am! Understood! Oh. oh Excuse me, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Dr. Not Young is a busy person. It will take some time for her to arrive. Also, she's old as shit. <laughs> In the meantime, let us try viewing this case from another angle. There's something that's been on my mind. One of the key figures in this case. The conductor. Mm -hmm. We still don't know who that person is. Now that you mention it, even after our investigation, we still have no idea who it is. We're real yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, conductor. Who could, who has any idea? <laughs> mm. 
The conductor has come up time and time again. However, at this point in time, their identity remains a mystery. How about it? Do you have any ideas? I'm still not sure at the moment. However, there is someone I have in mind. A certain individual involved in this case who might know something about it. Who's that? Blaze de Best. I demand your testimony. Wh what? Oh man, this thing's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I just like this <laughs> fucking great. Don't say such a stupid thing. Why would you suspect pops? Wait, what are you talking about? What? Oh fuck! What? Oh, did are they figure out to... I'm the guilty party? Shit. <laughs> are you trying to cast suspicion towards the chairman of the PIC? Have you looked at his fucking face? <laughs> Do you understand what that means? Status Treason. and status and prestige mean nothing before the truth. That man is trying to pin the crime on Kay. The evidence that was in Kay's possession, the ticket stub, the mask, the corsage, these items did not come into her possession out of her own volition. By some method, that man purposefully planted them on her personage. Someone want a dust for Prince? <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to believe such a sudden accusation, but I'll ask just in case. Why would he do that? Obviously, to destroy... To, to, hang on. I don't. Shutting down. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, to direct suspicion toward K. I succeeded in drawing out those words from him earlier. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, what the fuck? God damn it! <laughs> oh man! I'm gonna light your finger on fire. Are you too shocked to speak? Huh? What? Oh, I, uh, what? 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 Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you say that you drew out some words from me, but you don't have a shred of proof, you know? Should I oh, testify? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard everything. It was like 20 minutes long here. He made it really clear. <laughs> <laughs> no one else heard it but you. It doesn't work like that, you see. Uh, is okay. is anyone oh, hearing this shit right, right now? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Or do you have something? All else? the other old white dudes in the room. Hmm, yeah, checks out. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know, some kind of basis for your argument? This confidence. He also showed it in the cell. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I would like you to explain once more. I trust we have your permission, Mr. Chairman. But of course. I'm pretty interested in this matter myself, you know? I'd like to know just what part of me seems criminal to Edgeworth. Alright, so if I can direct your attention to Exhibit A, his fucking smile, and then uh, Exhibit B, the rest. <laughs> I surgically implanted the teeth of a dog in my mouth. <laughs> I There's can't no believe you'd do something like that to a dog. <laughs> There's no one as honest as Kicks I am. laying under the table. <laughs> Not gonna say that with a straight face. Sorry, I'm eating Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Ooh, mad jelly. I've, um, I've started getting into food. Like, human food. Doesn't do anything for me. Wow. Really gu gums it's up the works, but it makes me feel like I fit in, you know? Let's start from the mm. top. That's great. <laughs> I'm real happy for you. <laughs> the fact that the auction was held in this room is a cause for suspicion. It's actually yeah. fucking insane, really. <laughs> this is the PIC meeting room. I imagine it would be difficult for non-members to enter. That's why yeah, you need a key. all of the members have key cards, you know. There's no other way into this room. I think we can assume the multiple auctions have been held here before. Why? Click uh -oh. forward, please. Didn't they just move the thing here, this meeting room? Shh, don't, don't be smart. <laughs> therefore, <laughs> therefore, suspecting a member of the PIC would be the best. Y yes, because the conductor had to have been a PIC member. Wait, no! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that all about? What, what do I do, Pops? I just held the enemy. <laughs> Oh, Sebastian really is an idiot, you know. Well, you see, Edgeworth, I'm not the only one with access, you know. Indeed, there are 11 members in the PIC. Ten, Ten. one's dead. <laughs> well, 
It would be really fun if she was the conductor, but he was a bigger fuck doing something worse. Even if we rule out the victim, Miss Crane, there are still ten potential suspects. None of whom have faces. It's not me! But it couldn't be chairman, right? Hey guys, I don't I don't mean to like I don't mean to profile here, but if you want to like take a look at all of your outfits and designs and chairs and then look at his outfit and design and chair. Man, he's got giant spoons around his chair. I think those so are I holes. Can eat all this shit. I'll take your Reese's puff smiles. Yes, yes, everyone, just calm down, you know? Maybe fire will calm you down. <laughs> Edgeworth, is that all you got? Where's the evidence to suspect me? Besides that time I told you everything. And then kind of slow-key admitted to it five minutes ago. <laughs> and have a strange fascination with pyro stuff. Hmm. Oh, so you've fallen silent. Eh, arson's kind of overrated. <laughs> But you got too far, you see. I won't forgive you anymore. It's too late for regrets. Amy, you know? fucking look at this character. I'm a very important person, you see. Former chief prosecutor and chairman of the PIC. Oh man, I can't imagine a chief prosecutor being a villain in an Ace Attorney game. <laughs> Me neither. It's fine if you're not prepared to face the fire, you know. Because, you see... Don't stop doing that. <laughs> Either way, it won't make any... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I keep missing it! He's gonna bully you! <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? No, I was... not bully. His fucking, his fucking eyes in the uh, cross-examine thing was really scary. You've been rambling on for quite some time about most trivial details. I've read that entirely wrong, but you know what I'm saying. You can read Burn. it. <laughs> like the location of the murder, the order of the wounds, and hmm, what else was there? It just doesn't matter, you know, because you see, none of it means anything. Think about it. We've got the suspect herself saying she killed the victim. That's all that matters, you see. She'll even get a lighter sentence with her confession, you know. I can give you a lighter sentence, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna burn you. Now then, if there are any contradictions, be my guest. How can that be considered a testimony? There must be a contradiction somewhere. That person, he's very important, isn't he? Mr. Edgeworth. It's all right. Let's just give up. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Surely, I must have killed her. I can't even remember it. Don't be tied down by your muddled memories. If you want to believe in something... I forgot. Believe in God. <laughs> believe in your own innocence. Believe in... I'm not saying it. <laughs> Damn Thank it. you. My opponent is the PIC chairman. Taking him down won't be easy. However, I love how the uh, like the other games used all of like the big bads in high positions in law, so they just had to make up a new law council. <laughs> they this guy. He has underestimated me. If I can take advantage of that, I can kill him. Raboodle. I'm gonna bully you. <laughs> You've been rambling on for quite You don't have to read it again. Yeah, okay. Hold it! The autopsy report and the question about the conductor. Were you even listening? Talk is cheap, you know. I was listening, you see. But I didn't think much of it, you know? What's his quirk in Japanese? Like, he keeps saying, you know. Yeah. You didn't think much of it, even after I brought up all of those issues. Perhaps your judgment needs to be questioned rather than my ability as a prosecutor. This is a good way to get the council to respect me. <laughs> That's a good one, Edgeworth. Thank you. Yes, but you see... <laughs> How can you say it doesn't matter? Are you trying to suppress the truth? 
I can't imagine that. Logic chess! <laughs> well, you see, it simply doesn't matter as much as you say it does, you know? You see, Edgeworth, you're only saying it matters to avoid the real issue here. Hold it! No. It may be Shit. true she confessed. However, that does not make it the truth. I, I guess. She is suffering from memory loss, so we must question the credibility of her testimony. Okay. Oh, fuck. I wanted to hear his. I've never heard his objection before. Even if you say that, you know, it still won't solve anything. What good will it do to deny her confession? Sounds like nonsense to me. Wanna try asking her again? I think she'll just say that she's the murderer again, though. Very well. Let's try asking her again. One last time. Kay, work with me here. I'd like to hear from Kay herself whether or not she is the culprit. Huh? From me? Will that be all right? If this goes poorly, it could be quite unfavorable for you. I do not mind. However, I shall ask Kay the question myself. I'm moved in tears, you know. Oh, how touching, you know. I'm very touching. Fine, then. I'll let you ask her. However, I have one condition. Let me ask her. <laughs> <laughs> if all this proves to be a waste of time, I get to burn your house down. What? <laughs> then that will be the end of it. That, how's that sound? The end of the hearing? Yes. Yes, it, it seems you can be smart once. It, uh, you did it, you got it. Hooray! In other words, you see, if she confesses again, Kay Faraday will be found beyond a shadow of a doubt. Guilty. Yep, that's a fine idea. Guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt. Of a doubt. Shut off, idiot. Uh, if the murderer says she's not the murderer, that means she's innocent. Kay. Yeah. Kay, I have... Kay, please read the room. <laughs> I can't read. That's harsh. But either way, if I do nothing, she'll be declared guilty. Kay! Yes! I know what I'm asking you is un... I'm... Listen to me! Kay! I know what I'm asking of you is unreasonable, but please, I want you to answer me. It doesn't matter how tiny it is. Do you... Do you remember anything? Anything that would prove your innocence? All right, well, I didn't kill him! Nicely. <laughs> Why? Why would you go that far for me? I... I can't do it. I... I'm sorry. I'm too scared to remember. Because... I might have done something even worse! Okay. That were the case... I would only make things worse for you, Mr. Edgeworth! Kay Faraday must have been a despicable criminal. Oh, Jesus, Kay. Someone who betrayed your trust? Oh, sorry, don't worry. We've only known each other for a short while, but I know you very well. I'd even say that I know you better than yourself. Especially right- yes! I'd even say that I know you better than yourself, now that you've lost your memories. Oh wow, oh, like a- That's like- that's like two failures in a normal Ace Attorney game. You cannot be the culprit, because your true identity is... The Great Thief, Yatagorasu. The Yatagorasu is a noble thief who would never stoop to murder. After all, no matter what, that memory still remains. Just, my cat is freaking out. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. I just can't get rid of it. That means I must have. Hold it! Ha 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 ha, Kay! <laughs> There's no clear evidence that proves you're the culprit besides your own confession. Remember what I said. You must believe in yourself. Believe. Or perhaps you cannot trust in my words. No. No, that's not it. 
I think I'm nailing this serious scene. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, of course. It's because you were trying to save someone like me. God, I hate this. You've already lost so much. All for my... I have lost fuck all. <laughs> she just gave away your cookie that you wear on your lapel. <laughs> she just, I forgot the joke of her just eating it. <laughs> Ow. It always looked like a little graham cracker to me. I can't bear it anymore. Please, please, just give up. I see now. I thought it was strange. The reason you were acting like you wanted to be found guilty was because you were concerned about me. Yeah, did you not pick that up? <laughs> that is just like you, Kay. It's not. It's because you're a good person, Mr. Edgeworth. Unfortunately, I'm a terrible person. I may fall short on your expectations. I'm not trying to be a good person. No matter how much you want me to give up, I will keep trying to save you. That is the nature of who I am. Whether or not it is a burden for you is none of my concern. Hey, wait, hold on. That's kind of fucked up too, though. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a bad person. Fuck me, okay? Just say you didn't do it. This is so <laughs> goddamn easy, you dumb, thoughtless bitch. <laughs> she starts shaking her violently. Remember! <laughs> You are not the culprit! You know what I hope happens is that Kay is like walking underneath the lift and like gumshoe comes, Hey everyone, I found an elevator! Donks her on the head and she gets her memory back sitcom style. <laughs> Kay, believe in yourself once more. You are a noble great thief. What you should have been doubting is your memory of committing the murder. That is my wish, above all else. Please... Okay? It's like 1.40 in the morning, so I can't really scream. What is it? Did you remember something? Is she... If she remembers something now... <laughs> it'd be like a bad movie. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. Oh, the one-horned bull. Yeah. B bull? Prosecutor Edgeworth, please ask her to clarify. Um, well, Kay, what do you mean by bull? I remember now. The person in the red raincoat had that with her. The stuffed bull doll, I'm certain of it. I don't know if I've really earned this music. Is that true, defendant? Yes, your honor. That, that portrait's so cute. <laughs> It's very yeah. cute. The court hereby accepts the defendant's statement as a new piece Objection. of testimony. Objection! Quit messing around, Courtney. A testimony like that cannot be accepted! Your objection has been noted, sir. However, testimony about the victim's belongings... Has I'll been lacking you. up until now. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, her vague memories cannot be trusted, you know? I... Amazingly, Will's like voice is pretty close to the sound bite. Her memories are vague. That would be bad for us as well. Didn't you say this earlier yourself, Mr. Chairman? Since we have the suspect's confession, we don't need to worry about the trivial details. If we decide to doubt her memories, <laughs> then we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> then we must also doubt her confession, which is the main foundation of our case. Are you willing to do it, sir? My hand! Ah, uh, you're right. Well, never mind then. I shall leave it to you, because fuck me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shut oh. the fuck up. Oh. We did it! Fuck. I I didn't do anything. It was touch <laughs> and go for a while there, though. However, those words of Judge Courtney's just now. It almost feels as if... She's on our side. This is the part of the Ace Attorney game at the 70% mark where the bad guy prosecutor decides to be a good guy. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you know anything about this stuffed animal? No, Kay is guilty. 
<laughs> <laughs> the stuffed animal Kay spoke of must have been this. We found it in the storeroom. So they have grown since the first Investigations game. In the other one, they would have spent three contradictions making me point that shit out. That this yeah. was the bull. We found it in the storeroom. It is believed to be one of the items for auction. It's hideous. It is, indeed. <laughs> it's pretty fucking ugly. This is... Hmm? Do you know something about it, Justine? N no. It's just a bit different from what I imagined. Oh boy, is it your flashback case we get as the final one? Fun. Ooh. Indeed. It is certainly not what I would have expected the victim to be carrying. Let's examine every suspicious look nook and cranny. This is a doll, Edgeworth. <laughs> Those motherfuckers at Builder Pair Workshop won't get won't get the drop on me this time. Oh, what's that in the top of his head? Bald. The one is missing. Mm -hmm. There's a hole in this stuffed animal. It seems this hole is where the hole is. What? Oh, I read that. <laughs> it seems this hole is where the hole is inserted into. I guess its head is not stuffed with cotton. I wonder what's inside. Perhaps I should examine the other side. Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> the right horn seems to be fine. But the entrance, the entire balance feels a bit off. Probably because it's missing a horn. <laughs> this horn, it looks like you can move it? What? Oh. What was that buzzing sound? Oh, is it a camera? It seems this toy is oh. equipped with a recording device. Insane! And... Is this the moment of the murder? Who could have recorded something like this? I love that they could have just made it like a recording device and instead made it this. Because why not? That statue was a clock. <laughs> this is... There ain't no doubt about it. This here's what I heard. Overruled, shut up. <laughs> we cannot verify when these voices were recorded. It's also possible that they aren't related to the case at all. If only we had some video as well. That's hogwash. I'm telling you, that right there was the conversation that I heard. The victim was holding on to it, right? I reckon it must have been recorded when she had a tape. That certainly is a possibility. However, your testimony alone is insufficient. Is it? Well, no, testimony is not evidence. Did we not just have an entire moment about one character's testimony being a changing point? And okay. It only counts if you're suffering from memory loss. <laughs> and if I feel like it. That sounded like I a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged line. <laughs> I require something with a little more credibility. I can't just have this recording and someone immediately recognizing the recording. Again. I need that girl with memory loss to produce a videotape. Her words. Oh, you it, mean like this? Ah. Uh... <laughs> it almost sounds as if she's trying to give me advice. That's what you interpreted that as? <laughs> Judge Courtney, there's no mistaking that those voices were from the incident. Please recall the audio that was recorded by the stuffed animal. I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. If we compare this part of the recording with a certain piece of evidence, we can prove it. Autopsy. Yeah. Look at that. That one I knew for once. The autopsy report. And exactly what part of the autopsy report shows that? Uh oh. I don't it? know! It's the candelabra! What the fuck is this? Burn mark. Because the picture would be too easy. Why? Why is it even making me point that out? I remember clearly what that voice said. You can't... Yeah, we just heard it, bud. just heard this. <laughs> you can't hide that burn from me. On the victim's hand, there was a burn mark. Oh, I can't imagine someone being burned! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how fucked up would it be if that was his wife? I don't know. I think that would have been brought up by now. Especially because the best has seen the body. 
Yeah, but he might not recognize his mom. I don't remember this lady. <laughs> oh, was was Sebastian abandoned at birth? No, I really can't state enough how fucking stupid my son is. It just happened to match up, you see. But what of it? According to Kay's testimony, the victim had been holding the stuffed animal. And it just happened to record a characteristic of the victim, namely the burn. That's just a coincidence. I mean, it could never happen, right? Shut the fuck up. I do not think so. It is not <laughs> believe that all of this is simply a coincidence. So like, shut the fuck up and then dialing back to, I do not think so. <laughs> Voices on the stuffed animal were most likely recorded during the incident. One of these voices must belong to the true culprit. From what we've heard, it must have been the one who was doing most of the talking. But what's the point? In the end, we still can't tell their gender or identity, you know? Indeed, because they've been using voice changers. It can't be helped. Guilty. <laughs> it seems the situation has become quite clear. The conversation Miss Hart overheard was between the culprit and Miss Crane. That's what I've been telling you from the start. This is like the most helpful Lotta Hart has ever been. She's, she hasn't lied about anything. She's like, just gave us information. I mean, there was logic chess in the way, but like, oops. We got there. And from this, we will understand a new fact. Please enlighten us then. I trust you have no objections, Mr. Chairman. He's just uh, huffing glue in the corner. <laughs> do what you want. According to Miss Hart's testimony, just before the incident, two people came up from the auction hall, using the lift. It must have been the conductor and one of the auction guests. They probably went there to settle payment after winning a bid. And then, it was there that the crime was carried out. Since the auction continued after the crime took place, we are led to a single truth. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, the culprit is the conductor? Just in case. Okay, I'm good at Ace Attorney. Since the conductor was the only one who could keep the auction going, I thought we already assumed this. We can no. conclude that the deceased victim could not have been the conductor. What? Oh. Um, Please be quiet here, okay? Shut okay. the fuck up. If the conductor was not the victim, then they must have been the culprit. Please wait. That alone is insufficient. Of course. Even I do not intend to rely only upon the process of elimination. Sweat. Oh boy. What if I could just burn everything? Certain, tr certain traces left at the crime scene led me to believe that the culprit is the conductor. Well then, please show it to us. What were the traces left at the crime scene that led me to deduce that the culprit is the conductor, I ask out loud. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking slow! Ba, ba, da, da. God, I actually... I actually don't know again. The, I, I think my brain works as like a whole mystery kind of thing. So, like, when you know the entire mystery, and it's just like, yeah, everything points in this direction, and all the characters are just like, no, because of shit I made up. It's like, I, I, there's so much that contradicts it, I don't know what it is. And then they were like, when they're like, prove the mystery, it's like, I don't know, everything? <laughs> like, uh, okay. Traces left at the crime scene. It, so it had to be like, oh, all right. Victim's fingerprints and blood were found on the hood. Can't really be that. Pool of blood. Uh, maybe this, because he would have the key for this evidence? I don't know. They didn't say maybe. that. It makes sense, but it's not in the evidence listing, so... this? After the conductor and another person entered the storeroom, one of them started screaming? I mean, that that description is from back when we thought the person in the raincoat was the conductor, but it could be. Yeah, it it still works. Mm, it's not really a trace, though. I don't know. Just scroll down and look at it. 
Who cares? I like that they're all just like, yes. <laughs> what <laughs> is it, Edward? Let one me moment. tell I you. I need to um compose my testimony. Um. Really? <laughs> The culprit purposefully left a large amount of blood in the meeting room. In doing so, we were led to believe the meeting room had been part of the crime scene. That was a ruse by the true culprit to hide the blood that had fallen from the storeroom. What did they- So we wouldn't find out about the, the existence of the black market auction, correct? Hmm? I- I guess. Indeed. Scream says nothing. Oh yeah, we're we're acing an attorney. Uh, here, I'll real quick, I'll restart it for you. Or let, here, let's move to that. Let's move to the other chat since that one worked a little mm. better. Sorry, chat, setting this up again. What's Just the, uh, are you on the fourth case of yes. AI two? Yeah, it might be the only case we finish in one day. <laughs> okay. Ergo, yeah, the culprit could have only been the conductor! Well then, do you have any idea as to who the conductor might possibly be? Yeah, girl, I told you earlier! <laughs> the auction hall is the PIC meeting room, and furthermore, there is a storage room right above it. The conductor must have been, at the very least, a member of the PIC. <laughs> oh, we've established this. Oh, uh, so that's, uh, that's kind of interesting, uh... But, but has anyone seen this lighter? I mean, holy shit! Uh, in other words, you suspect me, I take it. Isn't it natural to suspect you? The one with the most authority in the PIC? Objection! <laughs> you are quite capable. I'll give you that much, at least. But you know, like I said before, you're far too naive. And that's more evidence. There goes my tax rebate. <laughs> You have nothing, you know. There's no evidence that proves I'm the culprit, you see. Mm. If, by some chance, you do have evidence, then why don't you present it? <laughs> do I have evidence shit? that Blaze is the culprit? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think I do. He wouldn't goad me. Blaze himself has suggested that he is the criminal. He's been showing that strange self-confidence for a while now. He knows that there's not yet a single piece of evidence left behind to incriminate him. <laughs> if you play with fire, you're gonna get burned, Edgeworth. Just kidding, I always wanted to say that, you know? <laughs> well then, Courtney. I'll hit you with this hammer. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, a lot of heart is in this case. I didn't yeah. even fucking remember that shit. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's maybe the I mean... least offensive lot of heart has ever been, but she is still a lot of heart. Mm. I just remembered something too. <laughs> you also <laughs> lost your memory? <laughs> no, that ain't it. Something just popped into my head right now. Very well. Please oh, tell us. I love his voice. Courtney, could you tell me what you're doing? Prosecutor Edgeworth will not give up until we have destroyed every last possibility. I'm destroying every last possibility, so that he will never oppose us again. Didn't he already quit? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Justine, I don't really know what's going on, but well said! Pops, I'm gonna help too! After all, he's the one who's wrong. I'm going to hit you with my car. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to collect the insurance claim. And then burn, burn it for no... <laughs> yeah. I hope nobody heard that. Fine, then. Let's hear what she has to say. I'm the murderer! <laughs> well, then, I just thought it'd be nice for me to tell you. Sure thing, just leave it to me. God, that'd be fucking unreal if after, like, 18 <laughs> games... Lot of Heart was just the murderer. In I would case. love that. What a god to take down Lot of Heart forever and give her the death sentence. <laughs> to finally end her blight. Please make sure you only tell the truth. Ain't that a matter of course? I'm a bona fide journalist, of course, you know. Somehow <laughs> I feel uneasy. Y'all saying the culprit was that conductor, right? That means the victim was a customer. 
Now, here's where it gets a mite strange. You see, there were 11 people at the auction. When the auction continued after the incident, I went straight on over and snuck a peek down below. You don't mean... That's exactly what I mean. All 11 people are still there, present and accounted for. What?! Are you sure about that? No! Sure, I'm sure. I saw it with my own two eyes. Um, so it started with 11 people, and there were still 11 people after the murder. Was it a ghost?! <laughs> You know, Sebastian, normally a prosecutor would call that a contradiction, you know? Is that a kind of ghost? <laughs> Were there really no changes in the auction at all? Really, I'm telling you, the auction just went on like normal. Maybe the person came up, got murdered, got thrown in a box, and then Kay showed up. Ah, but there was one itty bitty thing, though. What was it? Spider. You know those hammers you always see at an auction? Like the one that lady's using over there? An auction gavel, perhaps? Yeah, that's the one. All of a sudden, I couldn't hear the sound no more. It has been banging away just like prior to it. The sound of the gavel. Does that have anything to do with the case? Crunch. No! Game over. <laughs> <laughs> If Miss Hart's testimony is the truth, then this matter has taken a grave turn. If the victim was neither the conductor nor a customer, the very foundation of Prosecutor Edgeworth's reasoning would collapse. <laughs> Justice prevails, as they say. I hope you've learned your lesson, Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, there really is nothing we can do. Please don't confess. It's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> I know it seems impossible, we've been thrown off our track, but if we can't move forward, why shouldn't we move back? I have to think, if I don't Damn do those wizard cops! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here. Did you get the answer you wanted this time? Well then, a deal's a deal. Please wait, Mr. Chairman. I believe it is still too early to make a judgment. Fuck! There are still a few <laughs> mysteries left in this case. I never get tired of the joke of someone saying an obvious thing and another person going, SHIT! <laughs> Until we have solved them all, we cannot call this a complete victory. Aw, oh, come on! Isn't that right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was expecting you to shout, HOLD IT! Like you always do. Yes, of course. Once again, Judge Courtney has come to my aid. Did you notice, player? Well then, what is it? What sort of mysteries are left? Well, of course, there's the contradiction in the autopsy report. Uh, this, I... this maze on the back of my cereal box is most vexing. Yeah, oh, oh I can help with that! I beat it in only three hours! <laughs> We've been waiting for this doctor to show up for like three hours now. I forgot she was maze. even coming. <laughs> I've brought her in! <laughs> <laughs> Good! I think Aram should tag in as, as this old lady oh, if she gets to talk. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong? Why were we suddenly called here? Did someone suddenly get sick? I I'll begin preparing a compress stat. Ouch! Whack. <laughs> What'd you call me here for? Did something happen? Yeah. Dr. Young, Miss Jensen, you have my gratitude for taking the trouble to come here. This won't take long, so please relax. <laughs> Tell me what in blazes is going on! Nothing in blazes! I'm innocent! <laughs> <laughs> of course. We called you here because something came up. Judge Courtney, just what are you planning? Bonnie Young, under the divine rule of law, please answer truthfully. No. There were no mistakes in your autopsy report, correct? Now watch that Corey's just doing this shit so she gets the hedge seat at PIC. Mm. I'm down Brady with that. Would never make a mistake. That's you, certainly strange. You bitch. Huh? <laughs> What's strange? This court has found an error in Dr. Young's autopsy report. Oh, I 
I was drunk as a skunk. Dr. <laughs> Young, please tell the truth. I'm just a big full body puppet that this crazy nurse puppets around. <laughs> Did you falsify the autopsy report? That's terrible. How could you accuse her of that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would I do such a thing in the first place? No, I super did. That's how the truth. To protect the true culprit, of course. She's just been whispering, Please, it's Blaze. You need to arrest him. I don't know what's going on, she says. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What you talking about? I would never do such a thing. How strange. In that case, why would there be an error in the autopsy report, I wonder? Prosecutor Edgeworth, what do you think? Mm, oh, sorry, what? <laughs> oh, I expected you to press into her statement like you normally do. Why is she taking control of the situation and trying to help me? God damn it, Edgeworth, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I don't know what her goal is, but I must play along. If the autopsy report you gave to Sebastian had been authentic, then the error should not have been there. Wait a minute! I didn't do anything! You're the murderer! <laughs> that is what we will figure out from this point on. Firstly, Dr. Young, I need, I'd like to hear your testimony. Why do you want to hear her testimony? It would be pointless! I will be the one who decides whether or not it is pointless. After all, I'm not a prosecutor. Not you. There are patients waiting for us! You know, like the one I left with you? <laughs> the granny! Ouch! Anyway, we don't have time for this! Shut up. <laughs> is there any way I could convince you? It is of the utmost importance. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, Granny says she'll testify. So please try to finish this quickly. If we don't return soon, there will be people in terrible suffering. And yet you were lollygagging about on the viewing platform earlier. For being cotton candy, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Granny wow. needs to restore her hair! <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. This won't take long. That's what I said to Quirkus Alba. <laughs> of, of course, if she tells I'll me the- I'll finish this in 18 testimonies. <laughs> That's generous. <laughs> there are no mistakes in Granny's autopsy reports. Okay, she says there are. I've been working with corpses longer than you've been alive. There's no way I'd make a mistake in writing the autopsy report. I got nothing to gain from falsifying the autopsy report. Is what she says. See, there's nothing strange at all. Yes, yes, that's right, you know. There's no way she would falsify it, you see. I'm not guilty! <laughs> Under the name of the Goddess of Law, do you swear that this testimony is the truth? Of course! Granny would never tell a lie! Objection! We were asking Dr. Young. We do not need to hear from a third party. Third party, I'm on Granny's side. If you raise an objection to my testimony, you'd best prepare yourself, you ex-prosecutor! I will definitely expose the contradiction in the autopsy report. Time for me to be and bad if at- If I can't, I'll just f falsify a new one. <laughs> like in the good old days. <laughs> Given an option, uh, wouldn't it be awful if I falsified this report? <laughs> wouldn't that destroy my morals? Does it matter what you click? I will destroy yeah, my morals. <laughs> God, this I hate the first. Like, I wrote the autopsy report, and Edgeworth goes, "What if I updated the autopsy?" <laughs> you can't fucking. What if I do slipped you a Mickey. Hold it. Hold it. So you're saying there is no way Doctor Young could have made a mistake? Of course, doctors can't afford to make mistakes. Hmm. That's why people never die. <laughs> this is a world where just one misdiagnosis can end a long career. I think your career is long enough. I know that my granny at least would never. If I did something like that, you think they'd still let me run a hospital? The Die Young Hospital? <laughs> I forgot, that's what it's fucking called. <laughs> if I jokes on you, I've never been alive. Yeah. The victim wore this raincoat after suffering a blow to the head. And yet, there was not a single drop of blood on the front of the raincoat. Therefore, it is impossible for the head wound to have been post-mortem. Um, well, that's... Ouch! 
<laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. That's what I wrote down from the very beginning. Objection. The autopsy report says the head moon was post mortem. They're completely different. Get your goggles out of your mouth. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I relate to Karen to put that down in the autopsy report. What to put down in the autopsy report? Uh, she fucked it up, not me. <laughs> After that, it was none of my beeswax. Relayed to Karen. That's fun if just Karen is a bad guy. Please elaborate on that. I relayed everything to Karen. After that, it was none of my beeswax. Hold it! I'll say whose beeswax was whose. I would like to verify once again what you saw when you examined the body. Um, like we said, ouch! Oh, well, about that. She was done in by a thump to her noggin. Like this, kills her granddaughter. Dr. Young, do you know when that happened? Before she died, of course. The wounds on her chest were post-mortem. That's what I relate to Karen, so that's oh what should have been written in the report. What a fucking waste of my time. <laughs> that's what you relayed to her, eh? I'm finally beginning to see the truth. This shouldn't really be a surprise, given this woman just gave us K. <laughs> she's not trustworthy, even if she's not evil. She's just stupid. Uh, I don't know. Should I just present the autopsy report? Like, uh, maybe just press on her. Did she have a new statement? I, I did. That was the beeswax. Uh, I'll, I'll no, try. No, the one after this. Yeah. Was that was that what, new? What's okay. the one after this? Does she have one that just says? I have nothing this? to gain. This isn't new, but I haven't pressed it. You may have nothing to gain, but how about your granddaughter? Ah, uh, maybe maybe this is one of those where you need to press one after pressing another. My least favorite mechanic in this entire franchise. There isn't anything I could gain. If Karen had something to gain, then that girl of yours might have something too. How dare you accuse my little girl who's never done harm to anybody? Yeah, aren't you ashamed of yourself? She should address those words to Blaze instead of me. I swear that the autopsy report wasn't falsified. Is what she says. See, there's nothing strange at all. So it's gotta either be that there's something that suggests she does have something to gain by falsifying it, or just the thing that says, this is the opposite of what you said. It's weird that they'd give me a new thing with and not have it yeah. be pressable. Or, yeah, like yeah. You'd, you'd expect it to be the beeswax one since that was yeah. the new one. Did you notice anything strange when you were performing the autopsy? Wonder, huh? What is it, Granny? A strange man came by. Who are you calling strange? He wore some really strange clothes. He even had a frilly thing around his neck. Mm. Even though he was about to get canned, he still tried to run amok during my autopsy. I'm talking about you, you frilly red brute! Hmm, I see. So Mr. Edgeworth is a strange, frilly red brute. Hey, please don't remember only odd things about me. Um, it doesn't look like Granny's lying, though. Miss mm. Jensen is the one who is relaying Dr. Young's words. I have to confirm whether or not Miss Jensen is telling us the truth. Okay. Okay, so I, I guess it's gotta be the, like, I relate it to her. I would assume? Yeah. So that's the new statement, and that's what his, like, end of thing referred to. Yeah. I don't know what the evidence is in this report. case. I think, I think it's autopsy report. It is signed it's by her. We'll try it. No. Good thing I have load states. All right. Let's find out. Well, it's not this, but I want to look at it again. I guess the corner is right. Okay. Key card. Maybe? It's weird. It's, it seems like the autopsy goes with the very first statement, but then why would this statement be unlocked? Yeah, that's that's not how this shit goes usually. I mean, it's not impossible, but... Hmm. 
I present this beeswax. Is this not yours? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing really jumps out at me for that statement. Maybe it isn't that one. There are no mistakes. Been working with courses longer than you've been alive. Relayed everything to Karen. Yeah, that seems really suspicious, though. Got nothing to gain. Did we press this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I cycle. This conversation again. Oh, I didn't know I had this one. Okay. Oops. I mean, there are mistakes. Like, can you just show the autopsy report? Yeah. I mean, that is the thing is that there's just they they've clearly said that the opposite of what was written. I guess it's. <laughs> is there I... a piece of evidence that says the wound? that, like, the opposite of what the autopsy report says? No, I mean, there's not... They just said that that's what's... I don't even know how to re relay this information correctly. They just out loud were like, I told her to write this down, and she wrote... And it's like, oh, she wrote the opposite, but, like, I guess that's not worthy of bringing that's up. That's probably it. I just don't know how to communicate that. Let's look it up. I swear to God, if it's like, present the autopsy report on the last statement, I'm gonna flip my shit. Present the autopsy report, look at this lady. Press the third statement, present the autopsy report on this state. I, I on swore. The statement? Yeah, I did I not do that? Well, we you did, did that. I thought the music statement. kept. Yeah, I thought the music kept going when you presented. Did the I? Ma report. Maybe it was right, and I just gave up too early. Hey. Oh, yeah, it doesn't cut out. What? <laughs> okay, fuck you. I guess I can't say fuck you to the game. I'm the one who loaded state immediately like a coward. <laughs> what? Dr. Young, please confirm what this autopsy report says with your own eyes. It is weird that it took a second to cut out, though. Uh, I'll read it out for you. Ouch! Sweaty, sweaty. This autopsy report wasn't written by me. What? What do you mean? <laughs> mm. Oh, she just starts going fucking ham and <laughs> wax her like five times. Uh, I don't know. Just... But Granny, I can't say that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Could you, what are you doing? stop fucking around? In place of the goddess of law, I shall hear your confession. Judge Courtney is talking with Dr. Young in private. That is happening off screen. What? Is that true? Understood. I shall convey your words to everyone else, Dr. Young. I properly relayed the autopsy report orally to that child. It seems my granddaughter must have mucked it up when she was writing it down. Wow, she mimicked her voice perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> there was no need for her to go that far, though. In other words, the contents of the autopsy report had been falsified by your hand, Miss Jensen. Oh, I, uh... <laughs> With that, we've proven that the wound on her head came first, followed by her chest wound. Miss Jensen, why did you falsify the autopsy report? Hold it, Dodd! Look at this fire! <laughs> uh, hold on a second. What about the burn on her hand? Could that have been... Wait. Ignore that. <laughs> she just made a teeny tiny mistake when she wrote it down. Postmortem and antemortem sound kind of similar, you, you know? They are complete opposites! That's the very definition of falsification! Shut your slut mouth! <laughs> Only Gumshoe can say that to me. You whore! <laughs> Shut your slut mouth, Mr. Edgeworth. Thank you. <laughs> Step on me with your gummy shoe. Yeah. Okay. Sim, please read your line. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I thought you were fucking like, around. Sim, please kill Will. <laughs> I've learned something about you today, Prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> now I remember why I tried to remove my own memories. Okay. Ouch. I want you to tell me too. Why would you do something like that? Granny, but I... 
Because you falsified the autopsy report, Kay fell under suspicion. Tell me why you did it! I... I can't say. I just can't say it. Not I don't want to say, but I can't say. He's gonna shoot me. You're all a bunch of bullies, you know. What? <laughs> Ganging up. <laughs> Do not bully. Ganging up on this poor girl who loves her granddaughter, grandmother. Oh, her no. Her grandmother I'm just said to fuck <laughs> to fucking confess. She is totally unrelated to this. I think we can forgive her for one tiny mo- uh oh Objection! That won't do. Aren't you the one with the most to lose if she testifies? Hmm? What are you saying? You are the criminal! <laughs> you see, as a former prosecutor, you'll have to speak a little more clearly, you know. Ooh, sick burn. You're innocent now. Very well, as you wish, I shall answer clearly. <laughs> Miss Jensen played an essential role in this case. I mean, I'd imagine a comp She was the victim. She <laughs> was the I, I, come, I have to see what... She was the victim. She I... was the victim. Miss Jensen was the victim! That's right, you know. Everyone's getting on her case for such a tiny mistake. In a way, the true victim of the case is this poor girl, you know? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little less fun than I was hoping for, honestly. I would imagine she's an accomplice. Miss Jensen falsified the autopsy report in order to assist the true culprit. Uh, ouch! <laughs> this girl is an accomplice? What's your basis for that claim? It was impossible for a single person to commit this crime in the first place. The crime could not have been committed without at least two people. Namely, because... Uh, the number of people wouldn't match, that's true. The victim couldn't have been moved. Eh, one person could do that. A report couldn't have been faked. That's also true. Um, yeah, well, it theoretically, if she were the killer, she could have faked the report herself. So I think it's the number of people wouldn't match. Okay. I assume it's like the person who killed her got what's-her-face to dress up as a person so it looked like there were still 11 yeah. people. Yeah. If the conductor was the culprit and one of the auction guests was the victim... It would contradict the witness's testimony that there were 11 people left after the incident. I'm Lotta Hart! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Siv. <laughs> I, I am very sorry, my cat was distracting me. Not at all. Rather, it is because I believe your testimony. That's why an accomplice must exist. So, you still won't admit that your reasoning is right. Hey, OBJECTION! Me. Up until now, we had not even considered the possibility of an accomplice. However, if there had been an accomplice, it changes the entire story completely. If the accomplice took the murdered auction guest's place, then the number of people remains 11. Oh boy. Yeah, that, uh, that math checks out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, bro, 11 oh, plus shit. zero is still 11. <laughs> Fuck. But what if it was multiplied, huh? What about Van Edgeworth? It wasn't. But, oh, fuck. <laughs> but, you know, wouldn't that have been quickly discovered? <laughs> you know, wouldn't that have been cool? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jensen and the victim have similar physiques. If she wore the victim's mask, she could have easily taken her place. Miss Jensen, did you switch places with the victim? I, I, I wouldn't. Who was the conductor? In other words, tell me who was the true culprit. Uh, I can't. I mean, uh, that would also cause trouble for Granny. Uh, ouch. Fuck you. But Granny... I said fuck you. I, I will accept whatever wrongs you may have done. Just tell me everything. G Gr Granny! Oh, Jesus. She's gonna kill her. Oh. Oh. It's right. I was Quirkus Man. Alba. Yeah. <laughs> As I thought, it appears you really were the accomplice. Miss Jensen, why? I don't know. Miss <laughs> Jensen, would you please tell us? Yes. It's okay, Granny. I'm fine now. I switched places with the victim, Miss Crane. So you admit to being the conductor's accomplice? Yes. I helped out the conductor. 
I don't really know why, but for some reason, the conductor was expecting to be attacked by Miss Crane. The conductor expected an attack from the victim? They were so sure it was going to happen that they came up with a plan to counter it. A way to beat the victim at her own game. And that's when I was called in. I was told to wait in the storeroom before the auction began. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, she was sitting there next to me the whole fucking time. Yeah, she was just hanging out playing games on her phone. Whoa there, you ain't fooling my eyes. Playing games on your phone. Phone? <laughs> if you were oh, waiting were... in the storeroom. Oh, the murder took place on the moon, huh? Mm -hmm. If you were waiting in the storeroom, I reckon I would have bumped into you. After all, I've been up in that storeroom the entire auction. There's two storerooms. There was a mirror. <laughs> I'm the telling you. told truth. me to impersonate Lot of Heart. <laughs> Can we really believe a girl who would falsify her? Come on, man. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> there should there should have been many places to hide in that storeroom. And by all means, tell me, where did our little sir? <laughs> Sorry, I. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to go like, oh man, how how fast can the other people read? Since we need so much hang time on these fucking slow crawls. No, it, it's funny as hell. Don't worry, it's funny. <laughs> she hid inside this costume trunk. That's where I got my nurse outfit. <laughs> costume trunk, eh? I'm actually I'm a monster truck it. racer. <laughs> what a weird job! What a weird job. She he died. died. I figured I would hide in there myself, but it was wrapped up nice and tight with a chain. And it was locked huh? too, so I had to give it up. I suspect that when you sneaked into the room, Miss Jensen was already inside the trunk. This is yes. the best option! <laughs> <laughs> it would have been bad if one of the guests from the auction had opened the lid. After instructing me to hide inside, the conductor wrapped a chain around the costume trunk. And I was totally cool with this setup. I think they were they went downstairs using the lift shortly thereafter, and so, I began to run out of air. So, girl, what you're telling me is you were aware there was an illegal black market auction going on, and some dude goes, oh, I need you to help me out. Can you get in this trunk at this auction in the storeroom for auction? We uh, auction items we sell in the black market, and you didn't mm -hmm. suspect foul play. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right then. They said they'd put an air hole in, so I was like, yeah, okay. It was right before the auction. So then, when the auction began, only you and Miss Hart were in the storeroom. Yes, that should be right. Do -do 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 -do. The auction had been going on as usual, but. When a certain participant made the winning bid, the conductor committed the crime. Miss Hart must have heard the altercation that occurred then. You betcha, I was trembling behind that there statue the whole time, though. Following the altercation, Jim Crane was mur- Jim Crane? <laughs> no. Jill Crane was murdered. After killing Jill Crane, the conductor carried her body to the costume trunk. Oops. Clicked off of the game. And Miss Jensen, who had been hiding in the trunk, was made to take Miss Crane's place. The victim's body was placed inside the costume trunk. You were just cool with this whole thing, huh? Yeah! The conductor then took Miss Jensen, who had been made to look like Jill Crane, do -do 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 -do, and returned to the auction hall as if nothing had happened. He slipped me a cool 20. A 20? Huh? Like 20k, you mean? Yeah, no. 20, 20 k yen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, twenty k gumballs. Just twenty gumballs. <laughs> oh. Do you know what twenty k Faraday? Yeah, twenty k. Nah, Aram, Aram just took the winds out of the sails of my joke. Twenty k gumballs. <laughs> so twenty gumballs. Do you know what twenty k means? Twenty of k Faraday. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, that's right. Well, in the old switcheroo with one of the auction guests, ain't that impossible? That gal and the murder victim are two completely different people, you know? Don't you reckon one of the other participants would have noticed and caused a ruckus? I'm stupid. I completely forgot about the mask thing. <laughs> I'm a fucking dumbass. No, not at all. The reason they didn't notice the switch was because... 
I mean, it could be any, like, uh, probably the victim's clothes. From what I can tell, Miss Jensen and the victim appear to have a similar physique. Furthermore, there was a rule requiring a mask to be worn during the auction. Oh yeah, I told you about that. Their hair is different. No. If their clothes were the same, I doubt anyone would have noticed she was a different person. Yes, I blended right in. I borrowed Miss Crane's clothes and- Ouch! You mustn't embarrass the dead like that. I know. I also thought it was pretty heartless to leave her exposed like that. Also, this guy murdered her and I just helped! <laughs> so when the conductor wasn't looking, I covered it up with the raincoat that was up for auction. So she was the one who put the red raincoat on the victim. And then, the auction resumed as if nothing had happened. I reckon I took the picture of her in the red raincoat after that. Standing up? What? She wasn't dead. Okay. Ah. He whacked her over the head and then she wasn't dead. Right, oh I, f I forgot about that switch. I was like, stabbed in the chest. She's immortal, didn't we mention? <laughs> That'd make all the facts line up. The young conductor. Sev. All oh, right, shit. I keep forgetting she's me. <laughs> After I took the photo, I went over to lift to sneak a peek down below. Did oh, someone say 11? sneak a peek down below? Go away. <laughs> I witnessed the 11 participants, and then I had to it back to that statue. Actually, where the fuck have I been? <laughs> He's not allowed in this room. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hope I wasn't one of the other people at that auction. Giving me a villain role in the final case, which would be an excuse never to bring me back or mention me again. Don't lol. tell me. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Don't tell Too me. Fort. You were hiding there the entire time until we found you. Nah, that's uh, how should I put it? Uh, uh, what is it? Did something happen? I didn't mention it before, oh, but after that, I might have dozed <clears throat> off a little. To be more precise, uh, fainted? Uh, well, something like that. So, something did happen? Ain't no big deal. Kind of embarrassing to say, though. There's this huge thump sound all of a sudden. I was a little surprised by that. It was right after I had just witnessed a murder, so I was shaking in my boots. My heart sort of tightened up, and I was off to La La Land. When I woke up, it was already the next day, around the time y'all came by the storeroom. I see. So there was a large sound. Miss Hart, I take it you do not know what transpired in the storeroom beyond this point. I guess. Okay, but, uh, leave. After the auction, hmm. all the masks were properly returned. So I reckon the participants in a, had exited through the storeroom just like I done said. Hmm. Miss Jensen, what were your actions after the auction resumed? This case is longer than I expected. I thought it'd be done by now. I took the victim's place and participated in the auction. The conductor instructed me to win the bid for the costume trunk. Because the body was inside it. It would have been bad if another auction guest won the bid for it. So I bid a hundred bajillion dollars. I bid 20k gumballs. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't realize the box was empty? No. We only found out when I came up to the storeroom to pay the bill. Uh, I was actually going to pay for it? Uh, the instructor was with me. The <laughs> conductor was with me and told me to go search for her immediately. And then, I found another girl collapsed in front of the ladder. Okay. No, it was a lot of heart. <laughs> yes, she probably fell down from the roof and lost consciousness. Maybe the victim left the hatch open when she went up to the rooftop. I understand now. Kay was just a dumbass, and she tripped. <laughs> Kay was surprised at seeing the collapsed victim, and did not notice the open hatch. She must have missed her footing and- Really? And fell down <laughs> into the storeroom. Really? Damn. No, she you saw- suck. She saw the coat moving towards her. Miss Hart, I have determined the sound that made you faint. It was likely the sound of Kay falling onto the storeroom floor, Jesus! That might have been it, though I reckon it'd be kind of pathetic to faint over something like that. When Miss Jensen found the unconscious K, uh, I missed that one, the situation is becoming clearer to me, Miss Jensen. Please, continue your story! After I found K and the victim, I put them both in the trunk. Ah, it's becoming clear to me. Please, continue your story! <laughs> if the customers at the auction found out, there would have been a huge commotion. 
I understand. That makes sense. Please continue. <laughs> was, was was this in order for the conductor as well? Yes, it was. But since I secretly decided to put the raincoat on Miss Crane, I had to dispose of the raincoat without the conductor noticing. Hmm. So the conductor didn't anticipate the raincoat becoming another piece of evidence. And finally, we dress Miss Crane in a spare conductor's outfit. This is a weirdly long amount of exposition. Usually you gotta work for this shit in bits. I see. Well, what they're doing is not telling you who the conductor was. I know. Who could it be? In doing Ooh. so, you made the victim appear as if she was the conductor. In the end, the auction ended without anyone noticing anything. Hmm. Miss Jensen, your crimes have become clear. If you know anything else, please, hold nothing back. I want to help you more, but that's all I know. Um, if I had to say, there's just one thing that bothers me. Why is the conductor standing over there? <laughs> dun dun dun! Zooms in on when Kay. I <laughs> when I took Miss Crane's place, I borrowed her clothes. But there was no way for me to borrow her hair. Ouch! Oh, they are gonna address that. Oh, damn! What kind of coroner's assistant goes around stealing a corpse's hair? I would think that robbing the deceased of their clothes would be questionable enough. Both the color and the length of our hair is different, so I was worried about how to disguise it. However, the conductor even had a wig prepared for me. It was his beard. In fact, <laughs> we had two of them. We stacked up like a totem pole. Inside the costume trunk, there was both a straight wig and a wavy wig. Two wigs? Why were there two? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was a precaution in case the victim had changed her hairstyle. I ended up using the straight wig to match Miss Crane's hair. So that means the wavy wig was left unused. Maybe that was in case Kay attacked him or something. Is her hair wavy? I guess not. For some reason I remember it having wiggles. It's also black. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying. I stole her giant stupid key to put in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily the conductor had the key to the chest, which he just stuck right in my brain. <laughs> Is that really all you know? Yes. Oh wait, Grandma says no. Yep, that's that's really all I know. So that means you don't know who the conductor is. I'm sorry. I only knew that person was the auction conductor. How did you get contacted? Wow. I never saw that person without a mask on. Why did you work for okay, them? Okay, but like twenty dollars. The conductor seemed to be on guard towards everybody. What did their voice sound like? Did it sound suspiciously like that guy over there? I mean, they did have voice changers on, but yeah. Ugh, at this rate, somehow I'm still in the clear! <laughs> Ashworth, is that all you got? Something, something extraterritorial, right? You see, I met this girl because I was looking for a, a wife for my son who was just as dumb as he was. Even if that little nurse is an accomplice, it changes absolutely nothing, you know? I mean, we just proved that Kay is innocent. Uh, what? The true culprit is still Kay Faraday, because uh, I think so. She she found Kay's body, though! Nope, 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 mm -mm, nope, nope, no, no. no. Oh. The rule of law cannot be overturned, at least not for your sake. Grocery okay. list. <laughs> Is this as far as I go? Am I unable to save Kay? It, I... <laughs> You're Why? all so stupid. I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get down to my local bank in Germany and I ended up here. Francisca. <laughs> she just... I forget it. She Has showed she up in this, in this case. Game yet? Just in earlier in this case. Holy fuck, if Francisca von Karma showed up now for the first time, that would be hysterical. <laughs> Francisca, why are you here? Objection. Fucking Phoenix walks in. It's my game now. Objection. It's the man in the blue suit whose name yeah, we're not allowed to say. Guy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, Miles Edwards, wherever there is a case, I will follow. Oh, my stomach. This is bad for my heart. Prosecutor Von Karma, your hard work is most appreciated. However, don't get the wrong idea. I only came here to find out the truth behind what happened to Kay Faraday. I don't plan on forgiving you for abandoning the prosecutor's past. 
Yeah, okay. I understand. Whatever. <laughs> sure. You should thank your former subordinate. He gave me some valuable information for which might save Kay Faraday. He says you two are going on a date? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Listen well, Malj is with. Malj is with. God, her accent's awful. <laughs> this <laughs> really be the... will be the final testimony. Please, Aram, please, no. Aram, don't. <laughs> I've been I've been editing that video today, and the first time someone says that, there are five hours left in the case. <laughs> Jill Crane suffered the wound on her head first. Oh fuck! Thanks. Well, someone say something. Uh, <clears throat> well, I hate to say it, but we already proved that. Already proved? Yes. Well, just a few minutes. Ow! Damn it! <laughs> you should have told me sooner. You're the one who barged in here and started talking. Well then, does that mean you found out what the murder weapon was already? No, not yet. Hmm. Is that so? In that case, listen well. The victim was struck on the head with a blunt cylindrical object. The wound on her chest was suffered post-mortem. A cylindrical murder weapon. You know, this report of yours, I trust it's accurate. Accu eh? Just, just yell at <laughs> the me. The Neon Acura! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> These were the results of two independent autopsies carried out by two respected doctors. That's reassuring, oh, but... Okay. Uh, I didn't click it's there. It's after that black market auctions, and I'm the prosecutor in charge of the investigation. The victim participated in the auction. Therefore, it is only natural for me to investigate. Especially now that she's been murdered. Maybe you're right, Siv. Maybe this guy is related to Quirkus, considering how he will not give up despite the everything. I He's see, got sturdy. I see. Clever girl, little Von Karma. I'm built for tough. <laughs> then it has been settled. The victim died from blunt force trauma to the head. We've established this. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Ace Attorney. Unfortunately, the murder weapon has yet to be found. Heh. Just knowing the weapon knows me what the weapon be. <laughs> what? <laughs> they don't think the weapon be like it is. But it do. Niles Medgeworth is having a strong... <laughs> Call an edulence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! In my investigation, we didn't find any other murder weapons, you know? That's cute, he's trying to copy his dad. Yeah, I was gonna say, he didn't do that before this case, did he? If you consider the con uh, conductor's possessions and the crime scene, the answer should be clear. The blunt cylindrical object used in the auction hall was... Judge Courtney's gaff. It was something the conductor had in their hand during the auction. Tap, tap. Namely, an auction gavel. An right. auction gavel? We didn't find anything like that! If the culprit is the conductor, it is possible that the gavel may have been the murder weapon. However, that alone is not reason enough, wouldn't you agree? Of course. I have proof to back it up. This piece of evidence proves that the murder weapon is an auction gavel. This bloody auction gavel. <laughs> this gun! It isn't, it, uh, is, isn't it sorry. the fucking, like, testimony from, uh, fucking Lada that yeah, she Lada's stopped hearing the sound? Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, Your Honor, I'm afraid what really made that gunshot was a, a gun! gun. <laughs> According to Miss Hart's testimony, I'm glad you guys are here to play this game for me. I'm too wrapped up in the acting of Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> I, I admittedly though, I have gotten better about that, but like, especially in the first game, holy shit, I had such a hard time consuming the case at all while reading it at, uh, yeah. during the crawl. I'm glad Aram was around for most of the fifth case because I was just not keeping up with it. <laughs> Though watching it back, I don't think it would have made a difference. <laughs> According to Miss Hart's testimony, after the victim had been murdered, it seems she suddenly stopped hearing the sound of a gavel during the auction. However, she had been able to hear it up until then. Why was that, you ask? 
It was because it had been used as the murder weapon and was covered in the victim's blood. Oh, it's one of the rare scenes I can skip dialogue. It became necessary to dispose of it. Isn't that right, Blaze de Best? And you seriously look at this. <laughs> I'll have a search for the murder weapon performed immediately. <laughs> well, good luck with that, you know. You gotta work as hard as you can while you're young, you see. He's completely confident that we won't I find it. it. It's in my beard, you know. Well then, while the search for the murder weapon continues, I hereby call for a brief recess. Thank you. This I'd like really to... will be the final recess. Aram, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're, um, you're making me worried. I, yeah, I think a recess is a good idea. Sprints to car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking here. I'm going to drink <laughs> uh, sorry, I have extraterritorial rights. That's not even close to what that is. <laughs> what happened to Uncle Probably. Ray? He's that dead. gavel is huge. Order in the court. I hid my gavel inside her larger gavel. <laughs> it's a Matroshka gavel, you see. Prosecutor Von Karma, Brother. your report, please. I have bad news. Place the best Some... fucking book, did. He searched every inch of the Grand Tower, but the addiction, oh, the the addiction <laughs> gavel. Mm. Oh. That is most unfortunate. It seems I am left with no choice but to pronounce a verdict. What verdict could you pronounce? Uh, have we, have we not cleared K? Well, it sure seems that way, you know. Normally, you wouldn't commit a blunder like leaving behind the murder weapon, you know. Oops, I dropped something. Let me just... <laughs> excuse me. You just get that. Uh, the best criminals would never do something like that, you see. I don't have enough information! Is this as far as I can go? Take a drink. <laughs> yes, yes it is. It's, it's a shame, you know, but it can't be helped, you see. Is this it's, as fink as I can dink? This, Glad this you didn't say the other thing. <laughs> this takes me back, you know. All those defendants who came to me asking for a plea bargain. I straight up misread that and thought he said, This takes me back, you know. All those people in the auction coming to me for a bargain. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. They trusted me, you know. Told me every one of their dirty little secrets, you see. And when it came time for trial... I'd get them sentenced to life in prison. They were all completely dumbstruck, you know? Each and every one of them. <laughs> I mean, good. <laughs> yeah, cool. Like, oh. that's... I, I know you're trying to be villainous, but that's... I'm glad you did that. Oh, how I wish you all could have seen it, you know? The, the stupid look on their faces. Did you call me dad? <laughs> no, not yet, stupid. <laughs> okay. I'll go back to hiding the gavel. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, put it in the back, dig, dig a hole. Use How? my shovel. He uses his hands like a dog. Eight, six, three, oh, five is the key to the cell. <laughs> I shall hereby announce my verdict. Please humbly accept the words of the law. There's nothing more I can do. With this, both Kay and I are... I'm guilty. I did it! If only we had some evidence. Boy, I Francisca thought showed that up I would to be be passing off. judgment on you like this. Is this the end? The defendant, Blaze de Best, I hereby indict you. What? Indict? indict yeah. I. D uh... oh. What's going on? Oh, you indict me, do you? <laughs> oh no! Right in the ass. I have here. Oh. Documents regarding a certain case. The IS-7 incident. A case yeah. that happened 18 years ago. Documents? You say? <laughs> Why would you suddenly? Hey, what? can I see those? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You don't mean... See, if you open up this manila envelope shell, 
You'll find documents inside. <laughs> I was trying to find a way to call that back, but I couldn't think of it. <laughs> On the day of the crime, the recording of the record of your keycard being used was because... I came to this room to fetch these documents, of course. Although, when I entered the meeting room, it seems it was before the black market auction had begun. Can you imagine if it wasn't? <laughs> she just walks in. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? Get first, her! I told you that I came to gather documents about you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. At that time, I simply could not tell you the truth. Thanks for being a bro. What are you doing, Justine? Why are you indicting Pops? Without no, any good. basis. <laughs> the, this is slander! Sebastian, your dad's a criminal. That was a wonderful remark, Sebastian. Shut up. Oh, uh, really? Of course there is a basis. During the case 18 years ago, Prosecutor Manfred von Karma fabricated information regarding the body. That was because the body of the sculptor, Isaac Dover, had been stolen. 18 years ago, the unfortunate incident in which you, Sebastian de Best, were conceived. Truly criminal. With <laughs> Man <laughs> Manfred von Karma hid the evidence <laughs> by stealing as much of the semen as he could. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Manfred von Karma is your real father. Detective Didn't you Lacey know? In addition to being, in addition to being the perfect prosecutor, I was also the perfect midwife. <laughs> the bab supped upon my nipple. Reported <laughs> that the semen had gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> However, in order to deceive Prosecutor von Karma. There is a person who purposely did not report to him that the body had disappeared. What did you say? That person would not forgive those who defied him, nor would he allow others to hold power. He would use any means necessary in order to bend others to his will. And then, also 18 years ago, Director Young was ordered by a certain individual to write a fake autopsy report. Dr. Dr. Young was the one who wrote the autopsy report for the- Oh, no, it's not me, sorry. Dr. Young was the one who wrote the autopsy report for the IS-7 incident? Oh! <laughs> Speed racer? <laughs> He's going over that cliff. <laughs> Granny didn't do anything wrong. She was ordered by that person. She had no choice but to obey. That person? That man. That person was the chief prosecutor at the time. The chief, chief prosecutor. prosecutor, Lana Sky. <laughs> <laughs> when she was just five years old. <laughs> the chief prosecutor, 18 years ago. Y you don't mean the person who's obviously the criminal? <laughs> Fuck. The chief prosecutor who gave Papa his first penalty. I'm on karma. It was none other than you, Blaze de Best. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Pops would never do something like that. I super Shut would. the fuck up, Sebastian. We do not need your opinion right now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Blaze de Best, do you have a rebuttal? I need to go. <laughs> Just walks over and sets Courtney on fire. What are you- No, no, hear me out. <laughs> I don't think that- Hear me out! <laughs> Fabricating stuff about the body. Von Karma did all, all that on his own, you know. Falsifying the autopsy report. Young, you would actually do something like that? Man, you really did some terrible things behind my back, you know. <laughs> Hold it! I wasn't listening to any of that shit. <laughs> Seeing as how all parties are here are concerned are today, you should today them correctly. Now, Bondulance. Hold <laughs> it. You're having a stroke. Take some meth. Bring it. I'm sorry. I knew. That's why I... Your blood is full of ghosts. You should do cocaine about it. <laughs> yup. Because if I didn't, he said he would expose you. If I didn't assist in the crime, Granny would be prosecuted! Oh, so you did know Never. who it was. That's what that 
Man, the conductor told me. <laughs> so, Miss Jensen was being threatened. How's that for a who done it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> was the con was the conductor who threatened you Blaze the best? I just said. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, am I am I stupid? Did she not just All right, whatever. I, whatever. I guess the person who threatened me was the auction conductor. They do have similar physiques, but I never saw the person's face. He kept trying to hug me. <laughs> Any trivial thing is fine. Give us a characteristic that could be a clue. Well, he had this beard, right? Two legs. <laughs> And two arms. <laughs> the conductor's mask, it exposed just a tiny part of his face. Uh-huh. There was a tattoo there, I'm sure of it. Oh. Are you telling me his wig is, his wig is his beard? The yeah. The wig? Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's a, what I fucking said. A ta I thought you were just 100% joking. A <laughs> no. tattoo, you say? I really have no idea what you're talking about. You oh, know? and the goggles are what keeps it tied onto his head. Okay. Oh. As you can see, there are clearly no tattoos on my face. I can't you really see. see your face, Sasquatch man. So that person doesn't match me at all, you know? The person who threatened her, the so-called conductor, I wonder who it is. You do know? a Santa Claus on him. Do a, do a shopping mall Santa Claus and pull that shit off. You have incurred the wrath of the goddess of law. I suggest you watch what you say. Hasn't he incurred your own wrath rather than the wrath of the goddess? Shut the fuck up. Jill Crane! <laughs> I said nothing! That was in my brain! I, I am a mind it. reader. You are- you are- You broadcast right your thoughts me. via Wi-Fi. <laughs> Jill Crane had been pursuing you just as I have. And I will not let her death be in vain. Crane was... You know, y you say she was pursuing me? My, my, I didn't really know her that well, you know? I don't mind girls chasing after me, you know? But I don't recall ever falling for me, you see? Gross! Yeah, <laughs> that's I right, it's that. me, Ray Shields. <laughs> you didn't know the victim well. That is a testimony we haven't heard up until now. Before the eyes of the goddess of law, you shall give us an official testimony. Mm, do I have to? I see, I see. Everyone's bullying me. If you're gonna go that far, that's fine, you see. I'll just have to make you disappear. Is anyone listening to By this shit? By the way, shit? I'm innocent. Every last one of you. <laughs> Throws the lighter on the ground. Prosecutor you know this room is made of marble, right? It's not gonna catch. <laughs> it's just like... Dad, I coated the Did entire building you? in kerosene like you told me to! <laughs> and then I drank it! <laughs> I shall cooperate with you as well. Can, can you just take this one? I'm not really feeling on the cross. My dear boy. <laughs> This isn't marble. This entire room is made of plastic explosive. <laughs> I'm just impressed. <laughs> if we let this opportunity slip by, I doubt we'll ever get him to stand in court again. Please, do not let this chance go to waste. Yeah. yeah. I promise I will live up to your expectations. Ow. Now then, Blaze de Best, you shall testify regarding the victim. God. Oh, his eyes. Haunting. The victim, Jill Crane, was a member of the prosecuted... Uh, the PIC. <laughs> yes, <The> PIC. <laughs> Personally, I didn't really know her that well, you know? Either way, it's not like I had a motive to murder her. I have no idea why she was pursuing me, you see? You intend to deny your guilt until the bitter end, don't you? Of Perfect course he Alabama. does! There's no way Pops could be the criminal! I mean, he's my Pops, you know? He's the very best! Like no one ever was! Yeah. This, this is a fan translation. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, Sebastian. If you're gonna stick up for me, be sure to have a clear basis, you know? In their defense, some of the Ace Attorney games have much more egregious and infuriating, like, all your memes are belong to us <laughs> horse shit in them. <laughs> Olga Orly. Oh my god, that is her fucking name! Yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah. I got it. I'll clear you of these false accusations, Pops. I believe in you, Pops! We won't leave to someone... Hey, hang on. A little kerosene in my mouth. It kind of burns. Uh, oh, wait until you see how much it can burn. We won't lose to I someone love... like Miles Edgeworth. I love to think that the doink around his head is like a fuse and he's going to light it like a hand grenade and just throw him. <laughs> yes, yes. You really are pure, you know. That person, he really loves his father, doesn't he? However, one must be able to accept the mistakes of their father. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how much they may look up to him. I, I can't believe someone with the Von Karman name would be a <laughs> criminal. A criminal. Yeah. Wait. Hang Each on. person must atone for their crimes. No this man is about are. to be beat to fuck. <laughs> Everyone's got weapons. The other ten members of, or I guess nine members of the council, I guess eight members of the council are just like, oh shit, this is, this is wild, you guys. <laughs> this is going to be hard for Sebastian, but I simply cannot overlook his father's crimes. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> the victims of crime was a member of the PIC. Personally, I don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's not like I had the motive to murder her, you know? Personally. <laughs> yes, 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 sir, my dear. Hi. Yes. <laughs> so, you're saying you weren't very familiar with the victim. That's right. I didn't even know about the burn mark on Crane's hand, you see. You didn't know about the burn mark? Okay. Well, you see, even if I had gotten close to her, she would have disappeared soon. What? Wait. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? A, hold on. Can I Can I try that one more time? What the hell? You're... Can I... All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a favor. I'm going to do you a favor. Right now, you want us to believe you're innocent. <laughs> In other words, anyone who defies him disappear. Is there any way we could take that other than a direct threat? <laughs> I would like you to add your statement about the victim's burn to your testimony, and also What's that other about shit. about disappearing people? <laughs> okay. I only just learned that she had a burn on her, as you say. Wow. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. Impossible, because fuck you. So you're saying that you didn't know about the victim's burn. Is that really the truth? You really are persistent, you know. Do you really think I would pay attention to every little wound on a woman's hand? Sounds like a cool album. I think... <laughs> I would think the burn mark on a victim's hand would be hard to miss. Now that you mention it... Jill Crane would regularly regularly wear gloves. I too did not know about the burn until the incident occurred. God damn it. Jill Crane regularly wore gloves. I thought so. She was probably trying to hide the burn mark, you see. I understand how sensitive a woman can be about these things, you know. I myself have a tattoo on my chin. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'd like you but, to add that to your testimony. I, I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, you mean this one lights it on fire? Uh, how how have you not been caught? I would, I would like you to add your so-called sensitive wrong. understanding of a woman to your testimony. How have I not been caught? I'd like to think of myself pretty good at conducting evidence, like keeping it... Wait, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Oh, I really thought that was it. Uh, doesn't this... Ain't this a crazy some shit? What are you... I don't really understand. 
but I don't think so. Uh, all right. Um, it's late. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at a guide because I know it's late and I don't want to keep you guys up any longer. Mr. I was got to be careful just because it's so late. Mr. I don't want to Yeah. I'm going to guilty. I'm going to guilty. <laughs> I will definitely innocence that guilty. I'm going to walk up to a policeman and say, cough him. <laughs> No, what? I'm so bad at reading, apparently. Uh, give me a second. Is the autopsy report? Sorry, I'm just looking it up. Oh, I was like way too far ahead. My B. <laughs> That's funny. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I. All right, I. I guess that's fair. Is it? He, him claiming he doesn't have a like. Not yet. To harm her, and he got the threatening letter. No. Or whatever. It's this, of course. Oh, oh what? yeah, because he said that he saw the burn on the arm. Jill Crane regularly wore gloves. If that is true, then it creates a huge contradiction. Oh, a huge contradiction, you say? I would like you to listen to the voices recorded on this stuffed animal one more time. Is what is like this those thing? Last two contradictions? What is this thing, by the way? That's a bull. Oh. I, don't... I think this I is. I know it. who you are right away. You can't hide that bird from me. Silence. Huh? I've been waiting for my time to get my time. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Sorry. We were under the impression that this was the moment when the victim was murdered. I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn mark from me. We thought this statement was said by the culprit. Isn't that fine? What's the problem, you know? <laughs> There's a huge problem with that. Also, wouldn't... Wait, hang on. Bring the nurse back in here. Can't she identify if that's the conductor talking or not? Whatever. Nope. If the, if the vi I'm real dumb! If the victim had... <laughs> Blinks one eye at a time. If the victim had been wearing gloves from the start, it would have been impossible to see the burn on her hand. Gloves come off very easily, you know. You're gonna take them off during the auction. Wait, Fuck. that also incriminates me at being the auction. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not true. You can't take gloves off. Miss <laughs> Crane has been wearing her <laughs> gloves since I took her place. <coughs> it. She must have been wearing them before she was murdered. What are you saying? You don't you understand the position you're in? I. I'm not scared anymore. I have Granny here with me. You I'm should. Dying. You should be scared. Please, your lack of record, your day of reckoning is finally come. You Can you imagine if the grandma whispered a cool one-liner and her granddaughter just fucked it up? <laughs> Somehow, it seems like you won't want to disappear permanently. Is anyone listening to this guy? This guy. <laughs> and make it all as beautiful as me. <laughs> the only one who will be disappearing here is you, Blaze the Best. Uh, How is objection! That? But it's going to be your blood, not uh, mine. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that. He's going to make me disappear. I'll arrest this man. <laughs> well, you hurt him, Miles Edgeverse. You are a criminal. <laughs> hey! How dare you say that to Pops? Does it really matter if the burn mark was visible or not? Objection. Yes. It certainly does matter. If the burn mark was visible, then we'd have a complete turnabout of the situation. What, what are you saying? If the victim's burn mark wasn't visible, what exactly does that tell you? <laughs> I think it's this one. Sebastian, turn your way of thinking around. See, so this, who's it? No, what? How the fuck? How did you make that noise with your mouth? 
<laughs> I'm a robot and I can't even do that. I'm a robot too. What? <gasps> brother? <laughs> if the victim was wearing gloves. Oh god, are you my brother? What a disappointment. If the victim was wearing gloves, then her burn mark could not have been seen. In that case, whose burn mark was seen? Someone else's burn mark. Precisely. The culprit must have had a burn mark as well. In other words, I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. The person who said this was not the culprit, but the victim. What? What? Objection. Um, nothing about me is fire themed. Uh, Sebastian, could you please step aside? Edgeworth, all you're reasoning up to now was just a figment of your imagination, you know. What about you threatening to kill us? The culprit had a burn mark? Where was it, you know? Well, I don't know, we could just do a strip search. No. <laughs> if you can't answer that, then your logic doesn't hold up. Where was the culprit's burn mark? My peen. Ew. <laughs> I wonder where the burn mark could have been. During the auction, wasn't everyone wearing a disguise? Indeed. During the auction, everyone should have been dressed in a particular way. If the burn mark was still visible under those conditions, then... Now, now. Why don't you show us? Where was the culprit's burn? You'll have to show me the proof, you see. Uh, where's the mask? Yeah, it's gotta be We don't be have me. that mask. We don't? It was hidden in these files! <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, is it... Is it... Karen's testimony? Is it uh, I thought... Um, no... Yeah, she said I, the I wig. Thought, I thought we had a piece of evidence that was... That said the, the culprit's mask only exposed a small part of their face or something. And they uh, had a tattoo, but the tattoo could easily be mistaken for a burn. Uh... Or vice versa. Okay, hang on. Is it is it that mask on the first page of evidence? Or no, that's that Kay's no. mask. Oh. They were wearing the oh, is it, is it... gan mask or whatever. Has oh, has a facial, facial tattoo. tattoo. Oh, great, good. Yeah, we, we knew the answer, so I just looked it up. What was the con- What was- What was? Say, <laughs> que sera, sera, baby. In other words, <laughs> the outfit you were wearing at the time. <laughs> what can you figure out from the clothes alone? Pretty, pretty good amount. What? The conductor had been wearing a white suit, white gloves, and a mask. His attire had covered up most of his skin. However, according to Miss Jensen's testimony, the conductor's mask exposed a small part of his face. In addition, while she thought there had been a tattoo there, it's possible she simply mistook the burn mark for a tattoo. A, a burn mark on his face. That's all very... Scintillating. Scintillating. Yeah. Oh, I was getting there. Don't sorry, worry. I, I, I thought you were pausing because you didn't recognize the word. He was acting. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's fine. You just think I'm dumb. Well, the word is <laughs> skintiltating, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's all very rumple stilt skin. But I'm afraid you're getting excited over nothing. You know? <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> None of the PIC members have any burn marks on their face, you see. Naturally, that includes me as well. Huh. Pops, but... Shut the fuck up, Sebastian. <laughs> Could you please be quiet? If you're an idiot, then act like one. Jesus Christ, oh. so mean. Normally, Sebastian is a nuisance to everyone around him. But this time, I owe him my gratitude. That reaction from Blaze's own son. It reveals the truth more clearly than anything else. I'm the murderer, prove it! <laughs> Thanks to him, I am confident that my reasoning is correct. Also, the fact that he has basically confessed like eight times! I know who the no. unidentified belong. I know. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with that prosecutor. He's just talking about Miles. <laughs> Usually Sebastian is slower to arrive at the truth than anyone else. However, this time he's probably figured it out. His own father is a criminal. Since he knows the truth, he's in pain, isn't he? If he didn't know the truth, he could have remained blissful in his ignorance. 
Yeah. His stupidity. He's downright ass clownery. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I Have mean... you ever read that book, Flowers for Sebastian? <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you read much Kierkegaard? <laughs> do you read much Kierkegaard? God, I forgot about that shit. That's making it into the show somewhere if I get the Excellent. chance. <laughs> it's the best Molly line she never said. <laughs> okay. We are here in order to pursue the truth. It doesn't matter what path my reasoning takes. The important thing is to arrive at the truth. Once before, when I lost faith in my reasoning, you said that to me and showed me the way. This time I shall show you the truth. You are innocent. I guilty. <laughs> I also want to know the truth. Mr. Edward, please tell me. Man, that's such a cute sprite. I can't get over it. It's very cute. Yes, that's the spirit. And they just pull <laughs> off that pad on her cheek and she's got a tattoo. <laughs> Christ, that's Shit. impossible, you know, for all of you. I mean... Just where could I possibly have a body? I'm just gonna say, where could I possibly hide all your bodies? <laughs> <laughs> but you could just be ashes in the wind. <laughs> it's nowhere to be found, you see. There's no evidence to prove that I'm the culprit, you know. Uh, that's right. There's no contradiction at all. There's no way you can. There could be a contradiction. Not for my pops. Uh oh, Sebastian. My corn pops. I understand why you don't want to admit it. However, if you avert your eyes from the truth, you will regret it forever. Boing. Pops, I... Just what should I do? You should fucking lie. I'm guilty! Huh. I really wonder why you're such an idiot, you know? Sebastian, if you really want to save me, You'll have to try a little bit harder, you see. Gotta use your head, you know? Honestly, you really are a useless idiot. No way. But I tried real hard. I tried my best, Pops. I went to the school you told me to go to, reached the top of my class, just like you told me to. Just look at this jacket. Only someone who graduates at the top of his class gets to wear it. I did everything you told me to do! That's how I got to be the best at the Academy! I even won all those awards, just so I could be like you, Pops. Objection. No, don't burn my diploma! <laughs> yep. You really are such an idiot, you know. <laughs> you know those gold stars you got on your test? I made the teachers give them to you. Oh. Every speech and debate contest, all of the judges were my friends. You know, Sebastian, if you weren't even able to notice something like that, you're really not worthy of being called my son, don't you think? Holy shit! Even wow. my son has disappeared. F fuck! <laughs> oh my! It's enough to make me cry, you know. He was trying his best for me, and yet he was totally useless, you know. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? You are truly wow. a dis. What's with all the bad dads in this game? <laughs> Well, you see, by adding Gregory Edgeworth, we needed to offset the good dadsmanship. So we brought in Von Karma, and this guy, and Chef Skyrim. <laughs> Guess how many kids Ray has that he doesn't support? Fourteen! <laughs> I, as the chairman of the PIC, and as a father. Even I feel sorry for that foolish prosecutor. Poor Mr. Prosecutor. What was his name again? <laughs> Blaze de Best! You just, what do you think of your own son? I will adopt your stupid child. Wow, Have you not I... said it enough times in this case? Yeah, I, I thought I made it, pr I'll tweet it right now. Hashtag dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's just a useless pawn, you see. <laughs> Whoa, now! Maybe you should look in the mirror before you criticize me, you know? I mean, even you. You also used Sebastian to get close to me, didn't you? I cannot deny that. However, he is not a mere pawn. He is at least a rook. <laughs> All right, calm <laughs> down. Tries to, he always tries to do his very best, even if the results aren't up to par. I've seen just how hard he tries, and yet you refuse to even acknowledge it. <laughs> that kid is no good, you see. No matter what he does or is told to do. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave this offering to the goddess of law to you. Deliver her divine judgment against Blaze de Best. Yes, that was my intention from the beginning. Oh, good. If there, <laughs> if there was a burn mark on the conductor's face, then Blaze de Best must be hiding it. What was he wearing during the auction? That is the key to revealing the truth. Well then, allow me to hear your answer. Please show the piece of evidence that proves the culprit had a burn mark on his face. Haha, <laughs> uh oh. Nope, wrong one. If you will recall Miss Jensen's testimony, there's still one point that remains unexplained. Two types of wigs have been prepared, one of which was left unused. Gonna be real, did not think when they first mentioned it, it would hmm. come to this. Hee hoo! Did you, do you mean the wavy wig? What are you talking about? Uh oh. It was something Miss Jensen found when she switched the, I can see you creeping out the door. Get back here. <laughs> What? No, I, I was just making, like, this is private matter. We should make sure no one else hears this, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a good man. He's going to check very far away to make no, sure nobody's listening. I love the Selene running sound. <laughs> well, no, the Selene running sound is that with an overlaying saxophone tooting every step. Oh, that poor son of a bitch. Anyway, it was something Miss Jensen found when she switched places with the victim. What does something like that have to do with the bird? Inside the costume trunk, Miss Jensen witnessed two wigs. One of them had been used by. Oh, this is not actually why I presented this evidence, but okay. Uh, to make her He'll look have like. to come to court to watch it. Look, it's. Hey, man, holds up tape and dynamite <laughs> if it works. <laughs> <laughs> now then, just what was the other wig used for? It doesn't seem like it was a spare wig. There's no need to overthink it. Just compare the attire of the true culprit, the conductor, with that of Blaze de Best. D don't stare at me like that. Don't you think there's just one spot where there's a huge contradiction? Specifically, Shut your fucking mouth. Around, around his fucking mouth. You fucking mm. piece of shit. That's... <laughs> Ew! Indeed. Ew, it was no wig. Blaze the best! It was your fake beard! Uh, <laughs> this is a real beard, you know. Don't tease me like that, Edgeworth. I'll bring in a beard, Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> your son must have realized the truth before anyone else. That's why he was trying so desperately to protect you. You were also worried that he would tell the truth. Isn't that why you drove your son away from here? Because he knew that his father was hiding a burn under his fake beard. Oh, Blaze de best! How about you remove that fake beard of yours? <laughs> the oh. goggles do not oh, Jesus. Rough. Is Ew. it is it a fucking skull shaped burn? I can't quite a see. Burn it. mark. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Justice has been served before the goddess of law. For that I give you my thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Actually, this burn mark came from me burning my ma uh, beard right now, still innocent. Blaze de best. <laughs> I hereby announce my verdict. No. 
You shall be taken into custody for the murder of Jill Crane. He disappeared. The other eight guys are just like, whoa, neat. We have nothing to say <laughs> about this. Mr. Edgeworth, thank you very much. I'm so happy that you believed in me to the very end. You did not make it easy. <laughs> I mean, there's no need to thank me. I can't stay mad at that face. As a prosecutor, no, as a friend, I simply wanted to save you. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I bring good tidings. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Everyone. Seems that former Chairman DeBest has been safely detained in the detention center. However, the search for the murder weapon, the auction gavel, continues. Blaze DeBest is a shrewd man. There's a good chance that he has already disposed of it. There is also one piece of testimony that concerns me. Blaze DeBest mentioned that the only thing he did not fake were the letters. What do you mean? Yeah, she wanted her fucking notebook back. Fucking letters? First, he found this letter in Jill Crane's clothes. Then, he also found this letter on Kay, who is unconscious in the storeroom. The contents of the letter seemed to suggest that the two had been corresponding with each other. Which is why Blaze de Best assumed that the two were working together. Ridiculous. That can't be right. After reading the two letters, he decided to pin the crime on Kay Faraday. In order to cast suspicion on her, he planted one of the letters in a noticeable spot. Right in the strawberry jam! The deceased Jill Crane's left breast pocket. Every day when I make Sebastine his strawberry jam and peanut butter sandwich, <laughs> I would never be able to miss something so obvious. <laughs> I actually love the idea that she packs a bagged lunch for him every day. <laughs> Have to cut the crusts off or he'll choke. I only eat the crusts! <laughs> yes. I just like to I look at the rest! <laughs> it may have simply been a last-ditch effort to save himself. However, before the stern eyes of the goddess of law, these are all trivial matters. His crime shall certainly not go unpunished. With this, I have finally fulfilled one of my long-standing missions. Judge Courtney, will you tell me what you know? Why did Blaze de Best murder Jill Crane? And what lies hidden beneath this case? Ah, oh, shit. Well, I don't mind. You have the right to know everything. Long ago, Jill Crane was in love with a cameraman. Oh, <laughs> we're going very far back. That man was pursuing the black market auction as a journalist. His name? Lotta Hart. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And then, before he could reach the truth, he was erased. So I don't mind the setup for this case, but it is a little weird to me that there would be, like, a high-stakes auction for fucking police evidence. I guess some of it's drugs. Yeah, why not? Someone wants a fucking stuffed bull with a horn missing, I guess. <laughs> the feelings and the items Miss Crane inherited from her beloved brought her to the auction. She had come to exact revenge on the conductor, Blaze, if we haven't established that already. Wait, Blaze Although was the conductor? <laughs> she was the one who was murdered instead, if we haven't established that already. I see. So that's what happened. You're, you're I... very good, Edgeworth. While the goddess of law cannot condone her actions, we have succeeded in her goal of bringing Blaze de Best's crimes to light. So... Judge Courtney's goal is to explode. <laughs> to explode us. <laughs> Which is bad, since this whole building is made of plastique and reveal the dark secrets of the PIC. Can I have my memory back? <laughs> yeah, please. Come on. Oh, oh so I got your memory juice right here. <laughs> yeah, wait. So was his whole oh, plan wow. predicated on her falling down the stairs by accident and losing her memory? <laughs> by the way, what happened to the young prosecutor? We have been unable to contact him for oh, some Oh man, time. Sebastian's gonna go into the mountains and hunt bears. <laughs> Do you have any idea where he might be? Finally, a twink in Golden Kamui! <laughs> I had not been truly working for him, so... I see. 
I feel very sorry for him. Don't, he's an idiot. <laughs> what you should be sorry for is the fact that he was kept in the dark until now. No matter how cruel reality is, he will have to accept it. I can't imagine if my father turned out to be a criminal. Simply unsinkable, really. He won't be able to walk his own path in life. How is the old Galt, Miles? I haven't talked to him in a while. Are you... Are you doing a bit? Francisca, are you doing a bit right now? Are we good? Yeah. Are we good? Is this a bit you're doing? Ever. A father's influence is not something that is easily erased. However, I'm sure he will be able to change from here on out. Yes, that's right. Surely, he must be right. Will I, too, be able to walk my own path in life? Alright, go write a coffee table book, Kay. Kay, is your body alright? I'm in so much pain. I'm so sorry. Even though you're my patient, I you left you with this random job. fucking guy. You are doing such a bad job. I think you should have your license revoked. You ended up getting suspected because of me. Ouch. You can't just take care of the patient's body. You gotta take care of the heart, too. That's my granny. Kay, how's your heart doing? Have you had a heart attack? I don't yes. know. I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something. Oh, right! You're Where's a bad Ashley? doctor! <laughs> well, then, I, I shall take my leave here. This is some stupid bullshit, and I, I must bounce. <laughs> I will be presiding <laughs> over Patricia Rowland's trial. That would be the trial of the murder for Horace Knightley. Boy, I forgot about that shit. Who's in charge of the defense? Miss Crane was supposed to be her defense attorney, uh, but now that she is fucking dead, we are currently arranging for a replacement defense attorney. Jill Crane had been in charge of Patricia Rowland's defense? Well, oh, nothing awesome. suspicious there. It's just that everyone <laughs> in the previous case gets murdered in the next case. Hmm, who can say? I'll also have to get in contact with Sebastian quickly, since he's the prosecutor in charge. Oh boy. Well then. Ah, please wait. What about Mr. Edward's prosecutor's badge? What will happen to his prosecutor's badge? I will smash it with this hammer. <laughs> good, with the, good. With the chairman's arrest, the PIC is no longer functional, so I cannot answer that question easily. Perhaps one could say, only the goddess of law knows. But that's stupid. Shut your mouth, Kay. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me. This is the path I have chosen. It seems you have no plans to change it, either. Of course not. I chose this path to seek the truth. With the departure of Blaze de Best, the law has once again returned to our hands. If you truly desire to continue the prosecutor's path, I am willing to assist you in reclaiming your badge. I appreciate the sentiment, but I must decline. I did not relinquish my badge with half-hearted feelings. Jesus Christ, Edgeworth. It seems that our passive law will continue to run counter to each other because you're such a bitch. <laughs> Until our paths cross once again, I shall have you hold on to that badge. I don't want your fucking garbage. That was my intention from the start. However, on occasion, the goddess of law is quite generous. Please return this notebook to its proper owner. Kay's promise notebook? Who does this belong to? Oh, that dead girl. Right, right. Mm-hmm. It seems that this was scheduled to be put up for bidding at the black market auction. The name Kay is written on the notebook. It seems Blaise de Best quickly realized this belonged to... Since the letter he found also contained the same name... You speak as if he really did not know about the letters. Are you saying that Blaze really did not prepare the letters himself? Yes, that man said so himself. And as we all Kay. know, he's great at incriminating himself. <laughs> he would have known. Kay Faraday's goal was to steal back the notebook. Jill Crane's goal was to get revenge. In order to achieve their goals, the two teamed up to, to infiltrate the auction, or so he says. Unfortunately... This was all Blaze's misunderstanding. 
It was purely a coincidence. If the attorney from the PIC and K really were acquaintances, it would be strange that she never mentioned it to me, considering her personality. <laughs> you really do trust her, don't you? In the end, the notebook was used as another red herring, but it's something that is very important to that girl, isn't it? I'll make a special exception and return it. I'm sure it's what the goddess of law desires. No, I made my decision. Keep this book until our paths <laughs> reconverge. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> I uh, appreciate it. I shall pray that she recovers her lost memories. Now I'm going to get out of here. It's too fucking sappy for me. <laughs> See ya, bitch. Lot of heart is still here. <laughs> wow, lot of heart, um, lot of here. I'm starting to feel real peckish. Why? Because there's a dead body I'm nearby? Pecking at him like a bird. <laughs> okay, I'm returning something very important to you. Here, oh. it's a custom graphic. <laughs> this is... Jesus Christ. Always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know. Never cry in front of strangers. Bitch! Look, Daddy, I wrote them all down. Yep, I'll be sure to follow all of her promises and become a hero just like you, Daddy. Oh, that's right. There is one more. I forgot to write down the most important promise. Okay, I'm gonna go die. Promise number five. Mm, yeah, I did it. What am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, forget this... that's Kay's dad. Yeah. <laughs> is this is this a notebook with five things written in it? She writes. I guess it she is. writes very big. <laughs> very big. <laughs> Promise number five. Always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember. I'll never ever ever forget them. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> Always try your hardest to learn things you don't understand. That's right, I... I am... I'm the great thief who steals the truth. Hey, Faraday! I'm the second Yanagurasu and Mr. Edward's assistant! Kay, you remember, and your voice is higher for some reason. <laughs> Embarrassing, though. Thank you so much. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Even when I lost my memories, you were still always trying to save me, right? <laughs> Seems you're back to normal. Wow, Kay, you've gotten better. All thanks go to, to me. <laughs> your health comes first. Now you can relax. Just make sure you don't run off and lose all your memories again. I did real high and mighty for the accomplice. <laughs> Not arresting uh, this woman. Miss Jensen, Dr. Young, fuck off. I guess, I guess they were coerced, but like, I think you should still be in a holding cell for some interrogation. Hey, if you're feeling all better, how about changing back into your own clothes? No, this design is so much better. I washed your clothes for you, Kay, so they're nice and clean. Couldn't sell these off at the auction. These clothes, wasn't Detective Gumshoe holding on to them? Uh-huh, yeah. A piece of forensics was done with them, so I took them back. Have they revealed the results of the analysis yet? To, to be honest, I actually didn't think to ask about that. Now, now, more importantly, let's hurry up and get you changed, Kay. I, I don't trust you with Kay Faraday <laughs> right now. <laughs> hmm. Still, isn't Let's it better if we... Get you framed for murder. Still, isn't it better if we do not remove her bandages? Uh, she should be fine now. I... Kay just bumped her head. She didn't really have any other major injuries. I just put those on her because it was funny. <laughs> then why was she so heavily bandaged? Uh, better safe than sorry. A proud a pound of prevention is worth an ounce of cure. That's my motto. What a troublesome motto. Come on, Kay. Let's get you dressed up over there. I can dress myself, Jesus Christ. Oh, good. Now I look awful. <laughs> I look like a third-rate cosplayer. A smile certainly suits you best. I disagree. <laughs> In the past,
best and now as well. Miss Von Karma, thank you for coming too. I I only came because Scruffy asked me to. I wouldn't mind That's coming right. because Scruffy asked me to. <laughs> Can you leave it oh. when the child isn't in the room? Please! I can't tell ages of humans. <laughs> I'm so only seven, you know. I wanted to see your energetic self again. Gummy? What happened to Gummy? Who knows? I think he fell off the building. <laughs> Maybe he was disgusted with the man who willingly threw away his prosecutor's badge. Be nice to me. I must be going soon. I'll be taking these ladies in for questioning. Okay, uh, good. What? Ah! Uh, what's gonna happen to the two of them? Who cares? One edited in the murder of an attorney, the other forged an autopsy report 18 years ago. Those crimes definitely won't disappear. I feel like the statute of limitations <laughs> yeah. is up on the, the 18 years the 18 one. 18 years one. Of course, it will mention the court that they were being blackmailed by Blaze. Wait, yeah, no, the statute of limitations is up because that was a plot point in the last case, which was the one that... Uh, but she went to study um, like, embalming in Zheng Fa for three years. Oh, okay! <laughs> I'm impressed you remember shit like that. Take care. Lot of heart is still here! God damn it. Now then, Kay. Sorry to ask so soon right after you regained your memories, but I have some questions. Go ahead. Sure! Ask me anything you want. Logic chess! What were you doing on the day you lost your memories? Well, on that day, I was asked to come to Gord Lake. Oh. I don't know who called me there, though. As I was watching the moon at Gord Lake, a person in a red raincoat approached me. The fuck? All of a sudden, he used some kind of drug to knock me out. What? What is she saying? The place where Kay saw the moon was at Gord Lake? When I woke up, it seems I somehow ended up on the roof of the Grand Tower. My mind was still in a day, so I stumbled around for a bit. Ah, uh, that's when I found the person in the red raincoat collapsed. I was startled, and when I stepped back in panic, whoop! I fell from a high place and got knocked out cold again. And when I woke up, all my memories were gone. The person in the red raincoat. Who exactly was that person? Oh, yeah. I was certain that I saw them walking in mid-air. Mm, somehow, this is all starting to make my head hurt. Please calm down. You're just a little confused because you've only recently gotten your memories back. Most likely, this is the main cause of your confused memories. Oh. Ah, uh, the hole. <laughs> uh, probably this. You saw the moon at both, uh, both these places. There was a moon. Totally different places? Even if I was in the days, do you really think I'd get them confused? You lost your memories. Most likely, there was something at the Grand Tower which led to your confusion. Okay. Oh. The... I have no idea. The pony! Is it the... maybe the... TV? Tree? Are there trees near? Like, That's... I, I, I want to guess the TV, because that's... I don't fucking know. I have no idea what this could be. Um, I was gonna guess the cotton candy stand. Hold on, yeah, it might be the cotton candy thing. Yeah. I remember oh, her talking yeah, about the maybe. burger. Yeah, there's one at the, the lake, too. You're right. The Grand Tower rooftop and Gord Lake have two points in common. Not that you remember this. They both have a cherry tree and a food stall. Oh, oh yeah, wow, that is a... God, I would never have remembered that since we played it so long ago, and that's the start of the first case. Your memories were confused because you'd been in two similar locations. The person that you first saw could have uh, could not have been walking in midair. They were simply walking on the ground at Gord Lake Park. You must have gotten that scene confused with the Grand Tower rooftop. So that's what happened. I don't know. How dare they steal the memories of a great thief? They'll pay for this. Nevertheless, I wonder who the person that assaulted Kay was. The person in the red raincoat who appeared at Gord Lake. I'm Lotta Heart! <laughs> hmm? What's that noise? The building's on fire. Sounds like it's coming from the storeroom. Mr. Edward, let's go check it out. I'm Lotta Heart! 
What's this? My shutterbug sense is tingling. I smell me another scoop. Y you're still here? I've been saying that. <laughs> let's, let's not go too fast now. It's lagging. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, is it Little Thief? No. No, it's just a walkie-talkie. Mr. Edgeworth, this walkie-talkie thing here is what's beeping. Hmm. This transceiver. Why do I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? It's still beeping, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm not particularly familiar with this sort of device. Come on, we have to answer it. Here goes. Hello? Edgeworth speaking. Kay, please don't just answer it on your own. I am speaking with Mr. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, I presume. Doesn't matter. Th this voice is Shelley de Killer, oh, Aram. Boy. Shelley de Killer. I congratulate you on resolving the case. However, can you truly say, in good conscience, that it has been solved? Are you aware of the mastermind who is pulling the strings behind this incident? Ray Shields. You. Why do you know about the incident? That's not important right now. Wouldn't you agree? Right now, we're discussing the mastermind behind this case. I've had an inkling that such a person existed, even before you said anything. After all, there was evidence to suggest that someone had used Kay to disrupt the investigation. Huh? There was? So, he was the mastermind? I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Would you kindly show me the evidence that indicates the existence of a mastermind? Probably the letters, right? I would think so. Yeah. Take that! Why don't you read this? I can't. Um, well, maybe it's, I maybe can't it's the say other letter. I don't letter. really understand. I'm very sorry, but you're a punk ass bitch. Uh, well, I only have so many items. Are we at short with her? Uh... It's the other letter. Yeah, probably. It was the letter that Kay allegedly sent to the victim. Come to think of it, I don't remember writing that letter at all! Who could have prepared this letter? Kay is I illiterate. I, too, am quite curious to know. So, you're not the one who wrote the letter? What could I possibly gain from doing such an act? Is it not necessary for you to stand in court in order to make the truth clear? Sorry. What can you possibly do now that your badge has been taken from you? I look forward to finding out from the shadows. This man, how does he know that? Do we have an understanding? Please ensure you do not betray my trust. Now then, if you'll excuse me. He said the case wasn't solved yet. What did he mean by that? And why would Mr. DeKiller even bother telling us that? Ugh, nothing makes sense anymore. I see. The one thing unaccounted for. That random cameo by Penny Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> this case has not reached its true conclusion yet. However, although I've lost my prosecutor's badge, who I am has still not changed. While I don't know where this may lead me, I shall reveal the truth. I swear it. We did it! Uh, we did it! We did a case in one day! 